Right. Um, I have played this once before, but I forgot, so... Start from the tutorial again. It's a little, it's a little bit scritchy on the sound effects. Uh... Basenji, greatest of countries. Okay. Okay. Lives to the... Right. Storyline, always play subtitles. No pandemics. Uh, electrophobia mode. Do you fear that somewhere out there you're being watched by a chicken? This mode guarantees no chickens will appear in your game. And sphexophobia. Do you, are your picnics often ruled by fear of murder hornets? This mode guarantees that no wasps or hornets, murderous or otherwise, will appear in your game. And that, I'm assuming, is no pandemics. <laughs> I'm sure that wasn't there last time I checked it, so that was been, that's been added over the past few months. Yeah, about 100%. I think I'll go, go for 100%. Right. No chickens. <laughs> He was afraid he was a chicken. Now, uh, what should we, what surname should you add to the book? So, surname should you add is Nemo. This is President Nemo. In 1932-2012, Basenji was ruled by the Salomon family for 80 years with the support of the United States and other Western powers until the Basenji Revolution of 2012, under King Adnan Salomon. Fine, whatever. We'll have the, uh, the cutscene, I think. Explains everything. Well, that ended badly. Okay, this is, this is in fact a roguelike. You keep dying and basically respawning. Someone must have poisoned my tea. <laughs> but it was that janitor. Let's see how he looks at me. Inauguration day. Again. This time I must do better. In Basenji today, there is a mood of jubilation as thousands crowd the streets in celebration. The first ever democratic election in the People's Republic of Basenji is a success. Five years ago, the monarchy was replaced by a transitional government. And now, finally, after great struggle, democracy has come to Basenji. For the first time in their turbulent history, both Basenji and ethnic Karifi are voting for a government of their choice. Twelve political parties campaigned, representing a Command wide and political FMV, spectrum. FMV, yes. With the largest, the Basenji Nationalist Party, sweeping the election with 72% of the vote. Good morning, Your Excellency. My name is Sibiria. I have been assigned as your political strategist. And I am Yusuf. I will be serving as your military attaché. The first task before you is to appoint cabinet roles for representatives from across our great nation. These are critical positions. Once appointed, cabinet members are constitutionally protected. They cannot be removed from office. Indeed, you will be stuck with these ministers, for better or worse. I would advise you listen to their needs. And I say look for loyalty. There will be hard days ahead. We will need a cabinet that is on our side, no matter what. Excellency, it's time for us to form the government responsible for building Basenji's glorious future. As far as I understand it, the game Rogue State took, part, took place during the transitional government. So we're taking over literally at the end of the government. We're moving on to like the, the first official like non-imposed government. The first democratic election in Basenji for 80 years or something. 80? 80 years. Anyway, so we have Yusuf and we have Sabria, my advisors. Then we have our ministers. Not all ministers are appropriate for all ministries. We have... Okay, God, there's a lot of reading to be done here. Can we... Sadly not, there are actual people here, I think. I don't think I can rename these people. We have... Um... Um, 
We have because we have the Ministry of Development, the Ministry of Defense, the Ministry of Finance, and the Ministry of Natural Resources at the moment. I think more ministries open up as you play. So the Ministry of Development responsible for transportation, health, education, and networks. Defense is responsible for the armed forces and intelligence agencies. Finance is responsible for taxation and regulation of your people's financial behavior. And the natural resources pertains for energy and natural resources. And we have a choice at the moment of seven people. Each person has like their own like little groups as well. With chicken stand. Uh, we have Aziz Al Kamali, who is conservative, religious, um, and I think that that says what what state he's from, which is relevant as well. Aziz Al Kamali is an interesting man. He lost his wife in the first revolution and swore to build a better Basenji for his two daughters. He's quite frugal, with a good track record of fiscal responsibility. You could probably count on him to run a tight ship whenever you decide to place him. So he's frugal. Construction costs lowered for buildings related to his ministry. And favors can be exchanged for 10 intelligence. Uh, ignoring the rumors that he's expected to organize crime syndicates, I'll say he's a cunning manipulator. Be careful what position you award him, because the second you take your eyes off him, he'll change the script if he believes it benefits his own ambitions. He may alter policies in his ministry randomly without your consent. Favors can be exchanged for 95... I forgot what the Karifi currency is. Uh, so, so he's conservative and religious. Um, he can be conservative, religious, secular... So conservative, liberal, secular, or religious. I think those are the those are the, the those are the main ones. I think at the moment, yes. Yeah, so liberal, religious, liberal, religious, liberal, secular. Noor Al Hadi, um, a champion of the people. She has worked exceptionally hard for both you and her constituents. I would. She she has a pious disposition, demonstrating a virtue and selflessness that throughout her. She's pious but secular. Interesting. Her political career. No matter where you place her, she will be grateful for the opportunity to serve our administration. Minister will start with three favor points. Pious, perhaps, but she has a reputation for burning bridges with people she thinks are beneath her. Rest assured, no matter where you put her, that tactless disposition will make her so popular with her constituents she will keep her from contemplating anything else with the rest of our cabinet. The loyalty of all other ministers will drop by 1% every five months. So she's pretty good within herself, but she makes everyone else slightly worse. Over time. It means you have to work harder to keep people happy. Uh... Nader Adad. With respect, serving under General Adad was the greatest honor of my career, says Yusuf. An inspiring hero of both the Basenji Revolution and our Civil War, he is possibly the one person our nation's conservatives and liberals can agree on. He's inspiring. Civilian units specific to his department get a free upgrade. They risk going to be exchanged for 15 intelligence. He carries with him a lot of the baggage of our violent history, but what's more concerning to me is that the moment is Adad is getting quite old and reportedly in poor health. We might find ourselves needing to replace him with a less desirable candidate in the future if the worst does happen. For health. Minister can die at any time. Or not at all. So that could be a downside or could not be a downside at all. Uh, Adnan Bilal. Can, so, hang on, so you can be everything apart from defense. You can be... You can't be, def, you can't be finance or defense. You can only be defense or resources. You can only be defense. Adnan Bilal. He is... One of these guys that struck it rich building an app or something. And fancies himself a politician now. I'll give him this. He's very resourceful, bringing fresh ideas to a lot of old problems. The downside is a lot of those ideas involve building apps as well. Resourceful. Extra event options are made available for events specific to that ministry. Jesus Christ, you want me to put an app maker in the Ministry of Defense? I don't think so. Have you ever actually spoken to him though? He's a moron. You don't want to put him near a camera and microphone in front of this guy, or you don't know what the crazy stuff will come out of his mouth. The unlock rate for new policies is significantly slower. Uh, Krim Suleiman. Suleiman comes from old money, the oldest eldest son of a property baron. He's more likely to be seen in nightclub than in his office. In spite of a, in spite of it all, he's wildly popular with the people, and his personal politics are relatively uncontroversial. Popular increased approval from the public in his home province, which is that little red one over there. I forget which one that is. Suleiman is an insufferable social influencer whose political learnings amount to vapid platitudes and glamour shots. He's used to being the center of attention wherever he goes, and that has made him quite selfish. Ignoring his request has a greater impact on his loyalty for you. Which means as long as we keep him happy, he's fine. Um, he can be anything apart from natural resources. He can only be natural resources. Um, Madiha Nazar. Nazar. He's a successful human rights lawyer, an accomplished university lecturer, a philanthropist, and a well-published expert on Basenji's political history. There are lots of appointments that could fill her portfolio. You say that, we don't have all the ministries unlocked. Her ministry operates with zero cost. She pays for it herself, basically. 
Not to have use of the water cooler talk is that Nether is a functioning addict hooked on picnic killers. This might prove a problem for our administration. The minister will occasionally vanish for a few turns. No requests can be fulfilled for that minister while absent. Approval in the minister's home provinces will steadily drop while absent. She's liberal religious philanthropist addict, okay. And you have Tariq Badur. Tariq was an executive aide during the years of transition from a monarchy to democracy. In that time, he bore witness to the many questionable decisions made by the previous leadership. This has made him something of a maverick, getting his job done his own way. Maverick. Sm siphons small quantities from the treasury every month, but upgrades from his department will only cost favors, never cash. These people all suck. Welcome to politics. <laughs> Regardless of what position you decide to point him to, any giving any position to an ethnic Karifi sends a strong message to the people that this is time of unity, not division. Oh yes, okay, so um, this is a country, I guess, kind of, it's based in, it's a random, it's a invented Middle Eastern country with, with, with also has the racial divides because we have Basenji, the Basenji ethnic group, and we have the Karifi ethnic group. The Karifi ethnic group are in the minority, but they exist as well. And part of the things we have to decide or play through is what we do with, with do we, like, do we incorporate the Karifi? Do we let the Karifi do their own thing? Do, like, you gotta jump that hurdle as well. So, yeah, and so I think he's the only, and that symbol there, he's come, he comes from Karif. So he's a Karifi minister. Having a Karifi minister is, very, is fairly useful as well. Because again, it, I want to get the Karifi on side. Yeah, okay, you can go into, you can be my finance minister. Uh, you're a maverick, and there's no real downside. So, I'll take that. Um, defense guy. I like how putting you in defense. If I have, if you die, I'll put this guy in there, but we'll put you there for now. Or just stick him in natural resources. Put him in natural, him, of course can go into defense. This guy can go in defense as well. But I, do I want to put him in defense? Maybe. Because if he goes into natural resources, a lot of civilian units early game are natural resources units because we have yet to exploit our own natural resources. So, okay, so Adad goes into natural resources. We'll put in Suleiman in defense, right? Because he's the only one other person can, other than you. Okay, who else can go there? You can go there. You can. Okay, so everyone else. Because when you when you inevitably die, I have to find out what I'm going to replace you with. So here we have religious, secular, liberal, conservative. Liberal, religious, and conservative, secular. You know I'm game. You know I'm game. I wasn't gonna do this, but so we have we have two liberals, two conservatives, and two religious and two secular. So we're we're balanced out there. The moron or the pop star for defense? <laughs> we'll put the pop star in defense. <clears throat> okay, so you're tactless, you're pious. So you have three you have, you have favorite points there. We can exchange favors for like money or for intelligence, which is good because your favorites are worth a lot. Because your favors are worth not much at all. Your favors aren't worth a lot because you're selfish. Uh, you're a maverick, and you're inspiring. Okay, we'll go. We'll, we'll start off with this. We'll start off with this one. Very good. Know that every twelve months you may appoint a new cabinet minister for an unstaffed ministry should you choose to do so. More ministers mean more opportunities to do great things. And more people to keep happy. Yay, happy people. Excellency, while you get settled in your new office, I have scheduled your agenda for the next few weeks. Are you interested in hearing it? Tell me more. Most actions, aside from giving orders to units, cost it's March 2022, good point. heavens. The number of action points available is equal to the number of ministers in our cabinet. Think of this as political capital to get things done. Most actions, aside from giving orders, cost a single action point. One action point per minister, so four action points. Okay. I've learned that our national power plant has not received a fuel shipment in weeks. Ah, that's inconvenient. The connecting roads were made unusable during the Civil War. By constructing a new road, oil will automatically be transported from the refinery to the power plant, and electricity can be restored to Basenji. Build roads by quick dragging a line between two buildings. Ensure both the power plant and the oil refinery are connected to the same road network. 
Yeah, okay, hang on. Can you zoom out a bit? Okay, so here we go. This is this is Basenji. Basenji, the five districts of Basenji. We have Benifa, we have Saba, we have Rumai, we have Karik, and we have Karif. The Karif is down, down here. And every district has its own, uh, I think it's prosperity, safety, health, entertainment, education, and environment ratings. Their approval ratings and how many workers are available to work there. Um, we still have UN camps because we're, we're because we just uh, god dang because we just left traditional government. We still have UN aid camps uh, in the in in the country, so we're not really independent at the moment. Um, there's a coast over here, so I think the, the, we've got a coastline over here. I believe the country the the map of the country is actually randomly generated every time you play. So the last time I played this, Karif was this corner over here. Uh, Banifa was down here. Uh, Rumai was over there, I think. So the map of the country is randomly generated every time you play. You see, you have our cities. You have Alhansa, Majimara, which is our capital, I believe. Rastaris, Morak, Taruj, uh, Adava, Sibor and Kaluja, Kalu eh, Kaluja, Kaifal, Faya, Chadir, Kadir, I'm gonna say Kadir. Right, okay. Anyway, build roads from the refinery. Yeah. That is our natural Petrogas oil refinery. And that is our power plant. What is the one over here then? That is a that's a reset border checkpoint to the next country, the country of Kalshara. Hang on, can I change the way this works? The dragging works. Right click map scrolling. Okay, that's much better. That's much better. Holy crap. Okay. Let's not, let's not click and drag. Right. Ooh. Right, so build roads from here to there. Building roads costs one action point per month and treasury funds. Note that it is possible to both upgrade and bulldoze roads. Click on any road segment, including the one you just built, and select upgrade in the road menu. Uh, do you have any tra do you have traffic view so far? Uh, traffic view. Traffic is also is all okay at the moment, so I don't need to. I'll upgrade something near the capital. This is gonna be more useful, I think, in the wrong term. Upgrade that. Upgrade road for three Basenji dollars, I think. Manipulating the camera should be straightforward. In addition to moving the cursor, you can use the WASD keys to pan the map or click and hold the middle mouse button. The mouse wheel is used to zoom in and out. Zooming out of the map, yep. you can also rotate. rotate the map by clicking the rotation buttons or Q by pressing yep. Q. Or Finally, these buttons will immediately pan the camera to buildings of specific importance. Resource producers, power plants, and buildings that allow units to be recruited. That sort of thing. Okay. Power plants, the palace, and... The refinery. Good. After the Civil War, the United Nations established aid camps to distribute food rations to our people. We must start to produce our own food and not rely on the UN. Constructing agricultural fields allows us to produce our own food for our people and have a new source of revenue to grow our treasury. Agricultural fields can only be placed on green terrain. From the right sidebar, click Construction. From there, choose the agricultural field. We will need to ensure that there is a working population available wherever we place them. Okay, so we build a construction. Build a, so agricultural fields, mines, oil refineries, plastic factories, smelters, manufacturing plants, seaports, power plants, nuclear reactors, dams, solar array, wind farm, time machine, laser, launch pad, casino, university, China trade consulate, Russian embassy, US embassy, black, black site, FOB, military base, faith assembly, intelligence agency, international airport, nature preserve. Ah, cool. Let's make some, let's make a, let's put a farm down somewhere. Okay, it requires 30 money. I've got 400. Uh, requires one upkeep, looks like, two power and one worker. Increases roller, rural approval. Where are we going to put this farm? It comes like in grasslands. Who needs some prosperity? 
they benefit from prosperity? Let's put some down here. You see, the, the, in Karif, they have a lot of, um, like, um, Karifi villages, I think. I don't think they exist in the rest of the... They're, they're less common in the rest of the country. Lake people can be farmers. Ooh. Lake people can be... I like that. I like that idea. We'll, we'll put a farm next to the lakes. I should remind you, Excellency, that we'll need a road connection between these fields and our cities. We can build a dirt road connecting them to our traffic network for now. Ah, okay. Um, right. Uh, roads. Hang on. Uh, build roads. Start of it. Over time, Basenji cities will demand more than just food to stay content. Urban citizens who purchase these goods from our state-run producers put money back into our treasury. As food supply increases, you can dismantle a UN camp. I would suggest doing this only once every few months, because removing UN aid workers will come with a severe penalty to our diplomatic influence. Ah, eh, screw the UN. For now, though, I think we can weather it. Click on our UN camp and dismantle it now. The UN is currently producing food to my country. Because because the UN is producing is just reading food for free, um, we're not working. Basically, doesn't it, 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 that's not earning. So we'll just dismantle the camp. Goodbye, UN. We could spend funds and an action point to build a second agricultural field to support the anticipated growth in our city's demands next month. Or alternatively, we could address the health crisis currently facing the province of Saba. Constructing a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in this province would provide immediate care for those wounded during the Basanji Civil War. I like that. The choice is yours. Future-proof your economy and construct another agricultural field, or build a regional hospital adjacent to a city somewhere in the province of Saba to care for our wounded. Let's put a hospital in Saba, I think. Uh, I've got two action points left. If you let me, I'll, put, I'll, build, I'll do both things at once. Uh, so in Saba there's Taruj, uh, population 20, population 12. Okay, that solves that problem. Population here, we have Basenji citizen, a conservative religion, ethnically Basenji citizen. 42 approval. A conservative religious, ethnically Basenji, uh, we have conservative religious, legal immigrant from Zarbil. Nice. Uh, conservative religious, ethnically Basenji. So this must be a clearly a conservatively religious place. Liberal, communist, secular. Hello. Oh yeah, they added that. They added they added communists and plutocrats as opposing factions in the latest patch. I was, that's, that's one of the reasons I wanted to play this, Eric, is because they added plutocrats and communists as opposing factions. You can you have to you have to try to possibly please question mark. <laughs> Pleasing plutocrats, they can screw off as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna see how how far can I annoy the plutocrats as part of the as part of the mission here. Anyway, construction of a hospital. So fifty money, ten. Uh so fifty money, one upkeep, ten uh ten power and eight workers in Saba. Such in Greenlands are desert adjacent to a town per one per town. Put a hospital there. Well done, Excellency. Thank you for putting your faith in me. You may have noticed that buildings consume both workers and power. Getting more power is a question of building more power plants. Is... Getting more workers, however, is a much bigger problem. Got fine, whatever. That was okay. So that went health went up, up. So Saba went from from t uh, two health to three health. Okay, so it's it's orange, but it's not red anymore, which is nice. Workers are a little bit low now because eight people are currently working in the hospital for now it is prudent to spread your buildings out between your provinces so you don't end up with a worker shortage okay so what's my current most worker full province is karif followed by a uh, banifa excellency sabria apologies ah, for yes the that's why we can't Our do both military is in a state of disrepair and I must insist we address that sooner rather than later. Construct a military base, Excellency. This will be where all our military units are produced. 
Okay. Build a military base. 5255. A facility for producing units for all branches of our armed forces. Only two proficient in the nation. Must be able to flat terrain. Conservatives like that. Of course they would. Can we put... This is... I'm not going to put it in the grasslands because this like it's a waste of farming space. All we need is 35 people working here. No, go there. Bam. Military base. Excellency, we will up our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Listen, he's a military base. Let me zoom in, damn it. Fine, this is as close as a zoom as we're going to get. I just want to see what we have here. We have some tanks. What do you look like we're running here? Can't tell. They look like they're old, they're old, they're old, like Russian T models, which I guess makes sense. Some, some are some in placed guns facing the town as you do. Uh, helicopter, helipad, which is nice. Train infantry, train mortar, train armor, train airborne. Okay. Anyway, let's end the turn. So we have... Next month, you're anticipated to lose between two and eight. We are gaining intelligence. We have power to spare. We have... Our, our cities are consuming 46 food. The UN camps are producing 90 at the moment. Next turn, we will be creating food. Processed food chain, nothing. Household appliances chain, it's okay, so food. Cultural fields and plastics gives me processed food. Household appliances is plastics and uh, metal, I guess. Bauxite mine, no, but it's, it's aluminium. Bauxite mine is aluminium. Um, electronics is bauxite and gold, aluminium and gold, and Luxury goods is gold. Okay. Okie doke. Good morning, Excellency. Good morning, Yusuf. Yusuf, the local news is reporting something difficult to believe. <gasps> an industrious shepherd appears to have hybridized a bunch of old cars <coughs> to produce an armored bipedal tank. <laughs> Oh my god. We have mechs, people. The mechs have turned up. <laughs> oh my god, what on earth just happened there? It's an unlicensed vehicle. That's a, that's a that's a mech symbol. That's like a that's a that's a catapult symbol there. This is a snaking mission, so it's a weapon to surpass metal gear. <laughs> I may have made a big mistake. Why would anyone do that? Uh, because it's awesome? <laughs> Yusuf is totally into this. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I am stuck inside this armored bipedal tank and have lost system control. Although this is probably also a threat to our national security. Thankfully, we can use that military base to recruit some new troops and send them to disable it. We will need to train a military unit. All units have a role to play in combat and it is for you to decide which unit to train. I would, however, suggest that you not train the SAM truck. It cannot attack ground-based units, including whatever that thing is. I understand. But here we have... We can't build a SAM truck anyway, so it's an infantry. Affordable ground-based unit that is vulnerable until fully promoted. The mortar, ground-based unit that specializes in eliminating infantry from a distance. The armor, ground-based unit that specializes in eliminating infantry and military vehicles, but is vulnerable to airborne units. And the airborne... Air base unit that specializes in limiting industry and tanks, but is vulnerable to anti-air. You have an armored tank, I'll have armor. Order our troops to disable the civilian bipedal tank by first clicking on the unit, then click dragging a line to the top. I want to zoom in, I want to see what I got, damn it. Armor, the first armored, kind of, hang on. Okay, who wants to be my, who wants to be my armored brigade? First armored brigade, who wants to, uh, who wants to be my armor great? <laughs> More than <laughs> fine. Uh, 
<laughs> me. <laughs> um, let's go. First. Let's see what we're gonna work with here. I want to be the mech. If I get to build a mech, I, I think somewhere down the line you can build mechs. Hellgate troops. All right. You got Hellgate troops. Uh, the, the first armor list. <laughs> yeah. The Hellgate troops. Okay, so there it's uh, effective counter to infantry brigades, effective counter to mortar brigades, effective counter to armor, can't attack airborne, but they're extremely effective against SAM units. They have a range of two. They are tier one. At tier two, they have 2 HP. At tier three, they have an attack against armor. Hold here. Uh, that is expedite. For an action point, move, move twice as... Anyway, can you just draw a line? For Basenji. <laughs> Splot. Outstanding. We have pulled the very frightened shepherd from the wreckage. Hopefully his insurance covers all the damage he caused. Thank you. I spent so much of my time thinking about how to create a giant homemade walking tank out of old cars and recovered munitions. I never stop to think if I should. Right. Well, Excellency, this seems as good a time as any to introduce your ministries. This is where you set all the policies specific to our nation. Click on the Ministry of Finance for now. Right. Uh, yeah, we'll do. Hang on. I'm just looking around here. Excellency. You destroyed my road. Have you destroyed my road, you son of a bitch? I should probably put a road to, from Kifal to Tabaj at some point. There's no road there. Anyway, fine, Badur, what do you got for me? Setting our tax policy to regressive will increase our tax base if our people's prosperity is low. Our nation's liberals will absolutely hate this move, but maybe we can <laughs> bring back their trust in other ways. Set our tax policy to regressive now. E hang on. It's okay. Let's, let's, Minister of Finance, taxes and labor. Uh... Regressive tax system. Wealthy citizens pay a lower proportion of their overall income as taxes to ensure majority of the population pay for the majority of the services consumed. Earn more from taxes when average prosperity is low, less when average prosperity is high. Liberal approval goes down. Proportional tax system. All citizens pay the same proportion of their income as tax without regard to the size of that income. And progressive tax system. Wealthier citizens pay a higher proportion of taxes to reduce income inequality in society. Earn more from taxes when average prosperity is high, less when average prosperity is low. Communists love this, liberals like this, conservatives still like it, plutocrats hate this. I want to turn that on as soon as possible. To be fair, my country is not rich enough. You can see like, that, that earns me 106, that earns me 108, that would earn me 92. The country needs to be richer before I can start taxing the richer people. Uh, we can legalize, we can research casinos, we can research offshore banking. Reform your bank so they protect assets from lawsuits, ensure financial privacy, and shield money from the taxation of other countries. This will make Basenji an attractive destination for rich foreigners to hide their money. Oh, nice. Uh, we can regulate cryptocurrency. Reacquire, require by law your citizens to disclose their cryptocurrency holdings and strongly tax those holdings as is disincentive for attempting to skirt our banking system. Screw you, cryptocurrency. Uh, tax credits. Permits greater financial investment on the provincial business subsidies than our previous limits. State investments. New options in the budget menu allow you to invest surplus. Super notes. We can mass produce high quality counterfeit United States $100 bills to bulk, to bulk in bulk to gradually increase our treasury. If we get caught, however, we're in big trouble. <laughs> this is start counterfeiting the US dollars as a, as a matter of course. Tax faith organizations. All religious institutions, including those of the old ways, are taxed corporations. Communists would love that. Uh, no minimum wage. Minimum wage. Guaranteed minimum income. The minimum wage is fine. It's 0 0.03 per pop per turn. At the moment, it would be minus 15 per turn. You know what? I get to the point where I can turn that on as well, I will. Prohibit unions. Workers' compensation, legalize youth labor, allow citizens as long as 12 to work legally, um, require food trucks to have permits, uh, 
or allow food trucks to exist in the first place. No, so no, it's, it's required to have permits. Residents will complain about the declining numbers of vendors. Repeal overtime laws. Relax building code. Whistleblower hotline. Buildings are 20% less likely to increase, increase in corruption in a given month. Why does public safety go down? I don't understand that. We get intelligence as well, I suppose. Uh, elders workers program. Or four systems from retirement pools to address extreme worker shortages. Okay. Anyway, so it's fine. Whatever. We'll do this now. You sure you want to also supposed to direction? Yeah, whatever. Good. Let's check in now with the Ministry of Defense. I'll change that when I can. Over time, a minister will research new policies for our nation. If you keep them happy by fulfilling the requests they routinely bring to us, that research gets completed faster. The minister is of the view that we might be able to learn something from this uh, bizarre incident with the armored walking vehicle. Yes! Unlock the bipedal tank at the clandestine site. We can, in fact, have mechs. Oh my god. You can choose which policy opportunities a minister is going to research by clicking on it. Choose a policy opportunity for the Minister of Defense to research now. You can even choose that silly bipedal walking tank if it means that much to you, but will probably need a lot of cash in a secret facility if you plan on going down that road. Okay, so let's have a look at what we can do here. We can't have we don't have conscription yet. So conscription army. All citizens at some point in their lives will serve as volunteers in the Basenji Armed Forces. Apparently the communists like this. Unit maintenance costs are halved. National defense is normal and occupation army. Your troops have been specifically assigned, trained, and re resourced to occupy foreign lands. All units gain plus one attack bonus when they are outside of Basenji, plus suffer a minus one attack penalty when they are inside. Conservative approval goes up, liberal approval goes down. Basically, we become an offensive nation. Conscript that, that turns on conscription. Acquire air to surface missiles to mount in your helicopters, giving them an increased attack range. Chemical weapons. Ground forces authorized to deploy chemical weapons on their enemies. Mortar units deserve plus one damage against infantry units. Activating this unlockable result in extreme sanctions from the international community. As well it should. Anti-tech missiles. Tier 2 and Tier 3 infantry deliver one damage, uh, plus one damage versus enemy armor. Psychological warfare. A targeted propaganda campaign to sow discord between our enemies and the influencers that would manipulate them. Infantry units deliver plus one damage against units that are supported by the US, Russia, or China. Forced relocation. Our soldiers will compel citizens to relocate to where their labor is most needed. Rate of civilian relocation to provinces with worker shortages is tripled. A random military unit will lose loyalty for every turn that a civilian is relocated under this policy. Veterans benefits. Our soldiers receive access to special benefits and gratitude for their service. Random military units will increase their loyalty every turn while this policy is active. Ground-based laser. An array of high-energy lasers specifically designed to destroy meteors. Okay. Uh, Manchurian candidates brainwash everyday people to become sleeper assassins. Occasionally, citizens spontaneously turn into tier three intelligence officers. <laughs> we have our own, uh, uh, what's it called? Jason Bourne situation here. Advanced centrifuges it increases the likelihood that clandestine nuclear weapons development will be discovered by 33%. Deuce ex machina unlock the bipedal tank at the clandestine site. Then temporal displacement. Building on the secret research conducted during the era of transitional government, elite Basenji scientists theorize we can construct a machine to take a snapshot in time and subsequently use an extraordinary amount of power to send a single human being back to that point. The rest of the world's physicists dismiss our theories as junk science, but surely the potential outweighs the costs. Perhaps experimentation with this technology is somehow responsible for your perpetual returns to your first inauguration day. Or perhaps your condition is what will make this machine possible. You can only hypothesize. No, I think this is... Possibly also a nod to uh, Red Alert, where Red Alert, the, entire, the, the entirety of Red Alert exists because Einstein killed Hitler. Uh, recon training. Our infantry gets. That's, this seems like. You can see how crazy some of these are. This is like relatively passive. CBRN response. A specialized task force responding to nuclear, chemical, or biological emergencies. And cyber division. Decrease the likelihood of catastrophic failure of all cyber warfare missions in the clandestine site. Uh, intelligence. Authorized authorize use of torture. Uh, gray areas. We will skirt our obligations to the UN Convention of Torture by holding suspected threats to our state in clandestine facilities, eavesdropping on their conversations with lawyers, and making the kinds of deals you can only make with suitcases full of money. Use ex machina. I think it has the le it's as, 
as funny as that would be, it would have the least use at the moment. Uh, rigid rule of law. Intelligence collection is conducted in a manner compliant with international law and with civil rights foremost in mind. Um, I'm thinking of things, I'm thinking of, for example, either getting recon training. Or maybe working towards conscription, who knows. Maybe forced relocation as well. Oh, for this is the relatively this is relatively passive, I think. We'll go we'll start with that. Unless, do people really want me to go do sex machina? Ministers who are not given research priority okay, I guess I create their own based on their personal interests. In fact, particularly belligerent ministers may do their own thing, regardless of what you say. It's mainly because if, if you have a lack of workers in a specific area, it, they'll balance out the workers. Uh, rate of civilian relocation to provinces with workers are just tripled. But whenever you do that, a random military will use loyalty. So it, 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 it does balance out, I guess, maybe. Uh, you know what? Do recon training. Excellency, our economy is pretty stagnant right now, which will limit our opportunities to better this great nation. I have a plan, however, that will give us a little extra boost. Let's review our national budget. Very good. I've got some more ideas on how we can increase our national treasury. A lot of things outside of our control can affect Basenji's monthly revenue. City growth, immigration, the price of commodities, our transportation infrastructure. So what you're looking at is our minister's best estimates based on a snapshot of the country as it stands today. Lowering provincial expenses helps a little, but it will also take its toll on the general well-being of those provinces. But look at these ministry expenses. You may want to change some policies in the Ministry of Development later on. Uh, yeah, that's expensive as all hell. Ongoing unit maintenance costs are something to keep a close eye on as well. It's better to use a few units well than grow a bloated military. Because we have a Minister of Finance, we also have the option of taking out loans in the forms of bonds or an IBRD loan. The interest repayment terms for these are not kind, so I wouldn't suggest doing this unless we were in a real emergency. Issuing bonds, borrow 200 from private lenders with the promise to repay it over 18 months at 17% interest. What's that? 17 is paying 34. You pay $34 over 17 months extra. If your diplomatic rating is 5 or greater and your rule of law is 3 or greater, you can borrow 100 from the International Bank of Reconstruction and Development for a promise to pay over back over 12 months at 8% interest, which is far more reasonable. But it's still, yeah. We can't invest at the moment because the Manager of Finance is still working and stuff like that. Inevitably, the best way for us to have nice things is to find resources and sell them. Later, we can use those resources to craft more valuable goods and sell them instead. We may need to consider a few temporary provincial funding cuts until we get our economy jump-started. I'll leave it to you to decide where, but ultimately, I propose you cut just enough to establish a positive cash flow. There are five, are five provinces, Banifa, Saba, Karik, Karif, and Numai. Um, I can't say Karik and Karif, because that sounds too similar. Karik. Karik and Karif. Okay, Karik and Karif. So we have Banifa, Sabah, Karik, Karif, and Rumai. Uh, so where can we cut some stuff? Uh, we can't... <laughs> Karif has got fantastic education, but we can't cut that any lower. Well done, you guys. Uh, we can lower public safety in Banifa. <laughs> we can lower health in Banifa. We can lower, we can't lower that. Uh, any more sixes I can play around with here? That's two. Okay, we can lower health in Carrick. We can lower health in Rumai. Carrick, Barrick, Barrick, and Karif. <laughs> 
Uh, I guess we can go to Saba and lower education there as well. Okay, we're slightly positive now. Once we have once we have exports, we can start investing in things again. But let's go. Come on, confirm we changes. We should create a surveyor unit to scout for new resources. Resources will eventually make it possible for us to sell more complex products for our cities. But for now, we can export these raw materials to a neighbor if the demand exists. Tell me more. Click on the palace at Mijimura by either finding it on the map or clicking on the palace fast access button at the bottom of the screen. From there, train a surveyor. Research surveyor. Surveyors identify possible locations containing valuable resources to exploit. A survey action is necessary to discover the... Con and the con a survey action is actually to discover the confirm if a resource deposit can actually be found there. Journalists can, as an action, trigger an immediate events inside a city. These events are usually positive, conferring benefits to administration. And palace guards are a smaller, slower, more expensive infantry unit designed for emergency protection of the palace. Okay, let's build a resource surveyor. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Excellency. Ooh, Majimura, who you have? Basenji residents, legal immigrants. Ethnically Basenji, ethnically Basenji, Basenji. Ethnically Karifi. Basenji, Basenji. Uh, right, anyway, let's go for surveyor. Who wants to be my surveyor? Who's going to be surveying for natural resources? Cartographical, in only assured resource deposits are viable. Wants to plunder my land. Small Banifa village. What? Beric may work tight with good to cut. Boscro, Boscro, Boscro wants to. Okay, so Boss. Boscro the Surveyor. So tier 2, Tier 3 Prospector. When prospecting all. I just surveyed. Okay, let's find ahead. Let's get Bosco. I think Boscro, Boscro volunteered first. Right, right next. Good morning, Excellency. Good morning. Click on the surveyor you've just trained to reveal all the potential resources in Bisenji. By exploring these sites, we can potentially can uncover that new apart? resources for our economy. There is a possible resource deposit located on a tile not too far from his current location. Drag him to the nearest tile with the potential resource deposit. Note the black pin. And click Survey Adjacent Tiles from the Surveyor Interface. No, oh, hello. Okay, so potential resource deposits. Oh, plentiful. Okay, so click on the surveyor. You just trade room. By exploring these sites, we can be able to drag at their nearest tile. Very well. Excellency. And survey adjacent tiles. Check if oil, bauxite, gold, or uranium is on a suspected deposit. You discover some, some another oil. oil deposit. Yay! Well, this is helpful. Not all resource deposits pan out, so sending surveyors across the Senji to check them all will be necessary. Let's build a new refinery on that oil deposit. Select one from. Can the I move you? Hang on. Where do we have other other deposits? Okay, I guess I'm moving you. Let's hang on. Uh, Bosk, start heading that way. Okay. Oil refinery. Process of screwed oil into more useful petroleum-based products must be built on a surveyed oil deposit. No upkeep, no power. Now our nation has two oil refineries. One ah, is sending ah, oil to our ah, power plant. One oil Perhaps refinery. We can sell the oil two from this oil refineries. One ah, ah. At least while well, we don't have a demand for plastics yet in Bisenji. Click on the diplomacy menu. There. Relations with those other nations we share a border with can be tricky. If we can maintain a strong, positive relationship, we can mutually prosper from expanding trade. If they grow to hate us too much, we may find ourselves invaded. Our relationship will depend greatly on their interests, which are not immediately known to us. Spending intelligence on research is one way to better understand these interests. In addition to their relationship with us, these neighboring states also have their own internal stability to be concerned about. A collapsing neighbor means lots of refugees seeking asylum in our borders, in addition to other challenges to manage. Help, right?
Okay, so we're technically in Saudi Arabia then. If that map is to be believed, we're basically in Saudi Arabia. And that would be... Is that the Red, is that the Red Sea? I don't... I forget one that is. Road access. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that in there, absolutely. Uh... Take notice as well of the three major powers interested in influencing the future of the region. The United States of America, the Russian Federation, and the People's Republic of China. The Persian Gulf. Let's see, let's see is that one then, yeah. So, this is the Persian Gulf, and is, it, is that bit also part of the Persian Gulf? Or is that the Persian Gulf and this is something else? If any one of these powers sees us as a threat to their interests, we may find ourselves in a war we cannot The small bit is the entire Persian Gulf, okay. On the other hand, if we can eventually improve our relations to the point where an alliance is achieved, the others may leave us alone. Is this like straight up Indian Ocean at this point then? The Indian Ocean, fair enough, yeah. Let's see if any of our neighbors happen they're to have an interest in Besenji crude oil. It's all the same body Once of water. Phone, like this, select negotiate they're... trade, then make an offer to export oil. There are extremely few isolated bodies of water on this planet. Most of it is the same body of water over and over again. We just call it different things at arbitrary lines. Uh, if Aerosis want to be interested in oil. Sarbil likes us. Polite relationship. They are a stable nation. We don't know what they're like. We don't know what they what they value. Zarbil, Ak, Ak Tijan, and Kalshara. Uh, the USA is disinterested, Russia is disinterested, China is disinterested. Um, we are great for international security. We are okay for diplomatic influence and okay for climate change. We are not very good for an aura. We are shady. We are supportive. We are a powerless participant in international influences and we are a failing participant of climate change. Anyway, let's have a chat to Zarbil. Greetings, Excellency. My name is King Naya Hassan of the Republic of Zarbil. Congratulations on your recent election. The people have chosen wisely by making you the, by making you to their head state. Our two nations have a proud history of mutual cooperation, so please don't hesitate to contact me for anything you might need. The Arabian Sea, ah. So we can... Zarbil has been a critical hub between the Middle East and Asia for thousands of years thanks to its location of trading routes. The modern kingdom of Zarbil was born in 1990 when the fundamentalist East Zarbili tribes were incorporated by force into Western-funded Great, Zar Great Zarbil. Since unification, Zarbil has been plagued by civil wars, separatism, terrorism, and two assassinations of heads of state. In spite of this, Zarbil continues to modernize and open to the world. Zarbil was hit by more serious political upheaval early in 2011 when protesters from former East Zarbil, inspired by the Arab Spring uprisings in Tunisia and Egypt, rallied against the monarchy. These protests were largely silenced by granting East Zarbil's, Zarbili's ownership of some formerly annexed oil reserves. Zarbil's future remains tenuous, but King Hassan has been particularly effective at portraying the appearance of popular leadership with the people and is far more sensitive to the needs of the East Zarbili's than his predecessors. We can set an immigration quota and establish how many immigrants will be permitted to arrive legally from Zarbil every year. If the demand exceeds the number of permitted immigrants, some may attempt to cross the border and settle our cities illegally, misleading conservative citizens in those same cities. Sell our surplus resources to Zarbil, bringing additional revenue to our state or industries, or alternatively, we can allow the public to import goods from Zarbil in order to fulfill demand. Uh, we will export oil. Hang on, if you can uh, Fine, I'll have a look afterwards. We will export oil. Don't forget to build a road connection to Zarbil, or estimated revenue will be zero. So, current spot price of oil is 0.235, so if we export 60, we will get 14 income. We are pleased you are able to assist Not with us. Not bad at all. This. We'll need to make sure there's a road connection between the oil refinery and the border checkpoint, or else our oil will never reach them and no money will be earned. Okay, road connection, build road. Yeah. From there to there, I guess. That's the end of the, that's the, end, the end of the year. Between the, the refinery and the border of Zarbil. Surveyors, facilities inspectors, and clerics can consume an action point to double their movement distance. Keep this in mind if you find yourself with extra action points. Okay, so that's now hooked up to the pipeline. So 
the oil is going to be coming from our refineries. I guess technically that one, because that one can't really get there. So we're going to be extracting oil from there and sending it all the way north to Zarbil. Action points are down here. You see four action points down there. May 2022. One civilian, one military unit with no orders assigned. You can't go yet. Yeah, so you can go in town. It's interesting. Excellency. That little crony had a little time things over there. You get one one action point per minister active. Excellency, we have used up all our actions for this month. Let us reconvene next month. Good morning, Excellency. Good morning. Excellency, Sabria. Apologies for the interruption. Again. Intelligence reports that a small contingent of rebels and dissidents calling themselves the Basenji Liberation Front are on the move toward what's left of that armored bipedal vehicle. <laughs> That's why they're still there. The Basenji Liberation Front? They're a small union of various interest groups with the united goal of destabilizing our democracy and removing you from power. What could they want with a pile of metal junk in the deep desert? Regardless, Reports indicate they are armed, and we must respond with force, Excellency. If the public feels we can't keep them safe, we may end up playing right into the insurgents' agenda. Our units start fiercely loyal to our regime, Excellency. Just be aware that the military is looking for you to make smart decisions. Sending units on suicide missions, making poor choices, and making our nation into a laughingstock may result in our soldiers doubting your leadership and side with the enemy. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we're anticipating at least a couple targets. We may need to field more troops. Eliminate the BLF units before they are able to reach the wreckage. I understand. Okay, so you key on moving over there. Get out of the, get out of the fight, Ostro. Uh, right. That kills two of them. See, what is the? Do you know, know what their stats are like? No, not really. Well, right, shoot, destroy some of them there. The RPGs. What nonsense is this? Once per month, fine. Right, let's bring in someone else. Sam truck, airborne. Mortar, mortar troops. Right, mortar troops. Excellency. 83rd mortar brigade. We're gonna be, who's my who's my mortar brigade? The two two one two range four. We can wipe those out there to finish them off. McBoyce. Uh, let's see, who are we going to get to get with that? Refair. Ref Refair, what would, you, what would you want these to be called? Morthen, you've, you've had your suggestion. You've had your Hellgate troops. Be happy. Someone suggest something. <laughs> I'm bad at naming. I abd at name. <laughs> That'd be harsh. I'm not going to do that. Anyone. Anyone give me a name except Morthen. I'm sitting. Wait. There you go. Uh, do you want to blow those up? Do you want to blow things? Understood. I'm gonna put those. Oomp. You do it with just two. You can reach there. We will get. get some, let's get some. Let's get some, uh, some airborne. Oh, you were. You're, you're super against. Armored Brigades. Okay, that's less relevant for us right at the moment. Squadron. 
Uh, boys. With a Z in the middle. Fly boys. Uh, fly boys. Well, fun conveniently, that's exactly what we need, so. What is Wow. Missiles, it's overkill. All right, you're done there, right? Okay, so. Excellency. What have you got here? More oil. Uh, work towards. Hang on. Uh, what else have you got? Go, go over there. It'll take you five turns. Work on it. Um, you're in Excellency. range. I'm assuming you can't do two damage to armor. Come out with tanks, shells for armor, missiles for people. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look. What are you doing in here? Prioritize so, transportation, prioritizing cars, government infrastructure emphasizes the use of, of private vehicles, with spending primarily located to highway maintenance and parking solutions. Fiscal responsibility, government cuts corners wherever possible to ensure our transportation is not a financial burden on the public or prioritize, prioritize sustainability. Government infrastructure emphasizes environmental sustainability through urban mass transit solutions and subsidizing the mass adoption of electric vehicles. Rural v villages will protest their taxes squandered on things that don't benefit from. The people will surely rejoice to learn our beloved highways have been upgraded to include state-of-the-art toll booths so their leisurely drives can be interrupted in the interest of national service. So there's that. You can have Basenji Net, so you can have open internet, regulated internet, internet censorship, Basenji Net. Rural internet access. Spectrum auction. Sell the rights for foreign corporations to broadcast exclusively on certain electromagnetic frequencies in Basenji. Uh, privacy laws. E commerce websites must disclose to the public all information they collect about their consumers and how it's used. Uh, internet surveillance. Tunnels. Permit self driving cars. Deregulate taxis. We just allow Uber to exist. A spaceport. Uh, remove the speed limits. Electric charging stations. We place Scarcraft on Basenji Net. <laughs> it actually improves the ping. You can't play with any outside Basenji, but yes. So why why you, why is it so, why is so much money? Because we, we where's my um, budget? Twenty four. Development. That costs three. That costs. How? What's costing me so much in the, in the development front? Oh, hang on. There's, there's way more stuff. Okay, well, there you go. Those, okay, healthcare. Nationalized healthcare. Minus twenty one a turn. It's minus ten. Okay, I can't afford. I can't quite do nationalized healthcare. We'll do two year healthcare. Limited education. Nationalistic education. Religious schools. Secular schools. No, that's, that's, those are my choices. We we educate people at the age of 13. We do jingoistic, we are the best education until 18. We let them go for religious schools or secular schools. That's the choice. Okay, fine. That costs me 5 a turn. That costs me 10 a turn. That's 15. And that is 3. So where was 24 coming from? Where's 24 coming from? Five a turn from that. Ten a turn from that. That's 15. That doesn't cost me anything, and that costs me three. So that's 18. Where's the other come? Where's the other money coming from? Not, not diplomacy. Review budget. Our politics. Our personal. The personal budget of the minister. Right. Your personal budget is six. Uh, okay, we've got to give you a policy as well. I'm not going to let that run by itself. Uh, policies for you. Toll roads. And yes, give me toll roads, and then I'll change... To, once, that, once we've got toll roads, we're also going to protest sustainability, so that can pay off for that. Um, are you working on that? I can't actually... I can't... Privatize healthcare... 
It would it would lower my income by it would lower my problem by about ten. That would really lower my you know we, we're okay, we, we can deal with this. We're currently growing, so it's okay. Natural resource. Consume power, ration power. Solar power, hydropower, wind power, infrastructure renewal. Uh, deregulate fishing, green economy, resource producing buildings, con construction costs increased by 10, all polluting buildings ask three to operating costs, upgrading them requires no favors. Strip mining, ec e ecological impact surveys, uh, electronic waste recycling, vehicle inspections, carbon market, open reservoirs, exploitation perspective, steward perspective, green economy hmm I'll start working on solar power I think because we have a lot of sun here we can start selling more of our oil I suppose defense you're working on recon training and Tariq Badur Let me invest into the things, please. That's what, that's currently at 109, that'll go down to 108. We're gonna go back to... Cancel, 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 cancel. Are we, are we... Are we to eliminate the insurgents? Okay, that's what we're doing right now, is eliminating the insurgents. So I've got a spare action point. Let's return our finances back to the proportional tax system. Considering it's literally, it's a one dollar difference. Buildings can be seen. The development is specifically the minister of the Ministry of Development. This is specifically the ministries: Development Ministry, the Citizens Ministry, Defense Ministry, Natural Resources, Finance. We haven't actually got a Minister of Justice, a Minister of Foreign Affairs, or a Minister of Citizenship. We get to put a new minister every twelve months. So, so we haven't actually. We're not actually. We are exporting. Okay, that is counting my import exports. Okay, so we can increase. Uh, Saba tourism by one. I, I can't. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I don't. Next turn. Next turn. I'll see if I can help improve those red numbers. Enemies plotting. Good morning, Excellency. Good morning, Yusuf. Every unit can only attack once per month, and we anticipate. Oh yeah, yeah. Fine. We'll do that. Uh, fine. In which case, the airborne, the flyboys. There you go. Great work, Excellency. It would be prudent to have forces spread throughout the nation to address whatever threats may come our way. Excellency, as important as our national defense is, I will show you how to stay in power by balancing the differing interests of liberals and conservatives, religious and secular citizens, <sighs> even urban and rural populations. Mm. Let's start by examining how we are doing, province by province. Click on Banifa in the right sidebar. Banifa, okay. The upper graph shows your current approval levels in Banifa by demographic over the past 10 months. If they get too displeased with you, oh the God. rebels could be emboldened. All about 40%, Jesus. Uh, the immigrants don't like me so much. The lower graph shows that province's ratings for prosperity, education, health, safety, the environment, and entertainment. Keeping these from getting too low in all five provinces is going to be crucial if you want the people to stake it. Yeah, I, need, I need to help Saba. Saba's low a bit here. I gotta improve things to Saba. In many provinces, our environmental ratings are falling. A few are getting particularly low. Let's talk about what we can do about that. Go ahead and click anywhere to close the provincial detail panel. Traffic congestion can restrict the flow of goods. And more imp most of the roads are tinted green. It appears that traffic is not currently a bottleneck for us. If too many industries export goods on the same roads, you will eventually want to upgrade those roads by clicking on the road segment and pressing the Upgrade Roads button. So, let's consider what else we can do to improve our environmental rating. At the provincial level, you can increase funding to conservation, but this will increase your treasury expenses every turn. We could also construct a nature preserve or public gardens to improve your environmental rating, which have a larger one-time cost. At a nationwide level, we can make some policy changes. They might not cost us any money, but they will likely result in other trade-offs for consideration. In the Ministry of Natural Resources, we can ration power and sacrifice our entertainment rate in all provinces for our environment rating. We can also change our governing principles from an exploitation perspective to a stewardship perspective. There is no one way to accomplish anything. The choice 
is yours as to how you want to proceed. You are the glorious leader. Am I? Oh god. Don't do that. Only bad things can happen. Um, so if you go to, to natural resources, if you go to ration power, that lowers entertainment and prosperity across the board. Um, increases planet leadership perspective. Future perspective lowers prosperity drastically across the board. So I'll do, I'll do, okay, hang on, I'll do that. We'll start rationing some power. Get Good. This. It will take time to see the results of these improvements. So, as a longer-term goal, I would suggest you think about building more agricultural fields, a plastics factory, I want to improve a the manufacturing plant with a view to getting processed food production online before your citizens start to demand it. Okay. Notice the resource production and demand icons on the right sidebar. These are the five products that cities may grow to demand over time. The left number under each product represents how much you are producing at present, minus any products consumed in order to produce other products. Stop using the word products, please, Jesus. Products you're producing at present. Products produce product products. Can you move the chat so you can see the stream to the right? Fine. When, the, when I get my new overlay, basically I'm going to shrink the game screen a bit and everything's going to be outside the game screen because I... Honestly, it gets really annoying. Games don't do that. <laughs> When I get new overlays, we're gonna have like things are gonna be slightly smaller. Things are gonna hang on. Can I change? I can't change it. For example, the new overlays will probably lower this to something like where is it? Probably that one. Hang on, let's unlock that real quick. It's probably gonna like we're gonna end up with something, something like that, for example, and we can have the chat down. Oh god, help! And chat will be like down here and stuff like that. Because it's just easier that way. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Not yet, but it will, it's coming. Just because it's just easier that way. Uh, notice the resource production. These are five products that cities may grow to demand over time. The left number under each product depends how much you are producing at present, minus any products consumed in order to produce the products. So yes, that was. The right number represents how much of that good is demanded by our cities at this time. It's possible for us to produce more than what is demanded. When this happens, consider exporting the surplus to a friendly neighbor. Hey, Morgan. Sorry. Hey, not Morgan. This is how we make money. Tax dollars will not be enough. We need to start building production chains to manufacture processed foods, household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Sell them to our neighbors at first with trade agreements. Then, when urban citizens start to demand them here, we will sell to our own people as well. Okay. Processed food should come first. Hold the mouse over the processed food icon in the right sidebar. Processed food is going to require more farms, more oil refineries, a plastics factory, and a manufacturing plant. We will also need them all connected by roads. Okay. Thankfully, we already have extra oil that we're exporting. If you construct a plastics factory in a manufacturing plant and connect them to the road network, the oil will automatically be diverted to plastics production while you send our surveyor to seek up new deposits. Construction, a plastics factory. I'm gonna put them over here because I'm, I'm gonna put a refinery there and the refinery is gonna feed straight into the plastics factory here. And a manufacturing plant. No. Plastics factory and a manufacturing plant. Construct adjacent to a town. Uh, fine. Construct adjacent to Alhasa over here. How about that? This pressure produces processed foods. Okay, I need to connect the rows up, don't I? Yeah, I do. Because that was a mess. Fantastic. Any food or processed food purchased by our citizens or by other countries is money that goes straight into our pockets. Keep an eye on your production chains and aim to produce at least 80 a turn. 
Over time, you should be surveying more resources, or importing what resources you need, in order to produce household goods, consumer electronics, and luxury goods. Yay. As important as our economy is, you might also want to consider, as a longer-term goal, trying to grow our intelligence capabilities. Building an intelligence agency and training spies will help us find BLF camps hidden across our nation. Tell me more. And finally, keep an eye on your worker count. The only way to get more workers in Basenji is to open the country up to more immigrants. And that's something you need to negotiate with our neighboring countries. Immigrants are valuable members of our society, but if our relations with their country of origin go poorly, you can expect their approval of our government to falter as well. I note that there are certain uh, emergency measures that can be used to relocate your population within Basenji in the event of a worker crisis, but they're ugly solutions. We can talk about them if it becomes necessary. I think we've bombarded our glorious leader with enough information, Yusuf. Let's go. Good luck, Excellency. And tutorial. Get the professional objective details by clicking on them. So you have to get process 80 processed foods a turn or train an intelligence agent. But we haven't got any more turns at the moment. Hang on, we'll also move somewhere. Um, devils. We'll send the devils. Ugh. Okay, we're going to also remove the right click stuff because as much as I like it, the fact that it happens at the same time as that is problematic. Uh, can we... Uh, hang on. Ah! Ah! I'm not holding any buttons down, damn it. Right, okay. Is that better? Okay, it's better. Woof! Right, so, are you done? I can go up to there. Um, the airborne can head over to Kadir. The armor can be go back over there to think, because you have to be. If you're in this area, you heal up. But, uh, you're still moving. That's oil, so you're going to head over there, correct? Uh, well, let's see what happens next turn. Buskers on the move. Busker, Busker doesn't use cars. Busker just runs. Prime Minister Heinberg knew that a mass vigilante has emerged to take matters into his own hands. Using non-lethal methods, he has delivered... He has delivered dangerous violent offenders to the local police stations. The newspapers are fascinated with how he seemingly effortly jumps from rooftop to rooftop and have taken to calling him the gazelle. So we can go... Vigilantism is not, will not be tolerated. Gazelle must be arrested, or the gazelle is the hero we need right now. Stats. Nationwide approval, 38%. Oh my god. Um. The gazelle is the hero we need right now. Greetings again, Excellency. It would be greatly improve regional stability if you were able to build closer ties with the Russian Federation. Something to consider, at least. Okay. They would like us to improve our relationship with the Russian Federation over the next eight months. Otherwise, we should politely disagree. Um, we can try. In Majimura today, one question is on everybody's mind. Who is the gazelle? This much is certain. It is not me. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. That is amazing. <laughs> it is not me, winky face. <laughs> it's totally her. <laughs> um, right, I wanted to I wanted to build construction. Give me another oil refinery there no god no god please no 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 uh right okay so prosperity is super low right now but i think okay so i want to do course budget 
So I'm going to inc so five. Jesus, okay. Um, oh, because now we're, yeah, because we've, we've, our exports have lowered. So I want to increase, to, I want to increase uh, entertainment in Saba. <sighs> Subsidies need to go up as well. Oh, it goes to four. Oh, Jesus, it goes up to four. So I need to go Karik, Karif, and Rumai. Minus two. Ah! But Nifa doesn't even need any of that stuff. And environmental in, in Karak needs to go up as well. That's what. We're at minus three at the moment. Can I subsidies in? I can, I can take a hit. Uh, I can take a hit there. I was gonna take a hit. Public safety in Karik and Rumai can take a hit. That bounces me out at least. And that bounces me out at least. Honk for the great nation of Karif. And the fuel desire of and fuel the desire for independence. <laughs> God. <laughs> Hang on. Um No idea if that worked. Uh, so that's so. We're making all the food there. We need to make more. We need to make. We need to make more food because we're currently still getting a lot of food from the UN aid camps. So let's aid, let's build another agricultural field somewhere. For this is this is already like collected to to put it there. Yeah. She over. Who's got the who's got the workers to do this? You do. So put you, we'll put you over here. Uh. Bam. There you go. So we're creating more food, which is being split between... That oh, is... Ignore domestic demands and only... Certify organic. Requires 15 dollars and one favor from natural resources. Reduces pollution generated at the site. 30% increase in production. Okay. Uh, we are at 34 at the moment. What's the limiting factor? Food. Extra food. Okay, so we want to get our food up. We're still exporting some oil. Uh, let's use the last. We need to we need to connect this up again. So we're going to put in that. We'll do it for two. What has that done for our income? It's gone up between five and eleven because we have extra. Maybe we've got extra. We've got extra exports again. I was going to say, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that this turn anyway. Um, so, okay. You're not moving yet. You're moving move over there. Uh, the mortar unit is going to move up there. The armor can stay here. Can I just... We'll just link those together. We'll link Kaifal and Tabaj, so that'll probably be relevant at some point. Okay, new turn. Civilians at work. Run, buddy, run! Excellency, I have recently learned that we should have no way of tracking if any of our state-owned farms produce genetically modified GMOs. Should we conduct inspections and require that such foods be identified on their packaging? It certainly won't be cheap. Uh, doesn't really matter. It really doesn't matter. GMOs are not a problem. I might take a five percent swing. Just take a five percent swing, but GMOs are not a problem. My constituents are requesting a market in the profits of Benifa. Minister loyalty. On success, increases your loyalty. and failure, you lose a lot. Because you're selfish. So if you lose, if you fail to this, 
market in Bonifa. How much money I should gain per turn? 5 and 11. Okay, and we're going to build some stuff, right? We need to build a Russian embassy somewhere. And we need to build ourselves a market. Market, one per town, must be built in a flat thing next to town. Six workers. It increases prosperity, increases migrant arrival. But Nifa does not require extra prosperity. Oh, for God's sake, fine. Majimura, have your market. And just a complete new policy unlocked, loyalty increased. Favor earned. Excellency, I want to thank you for building that market. My constituents from Bonifa appreciate that you are addressing their needs. Excellency, as requested, we have completed plans for new public policy. Recon training. Most proficient soldiers have given specialized training, giving infantry plus one sight range. Start working on something else then. Work on conscription. Your favors are worth money, aren't they? No, your favors aren't worth anything. Right, fine. Um, that's done. Our income is currently in five and. It's how we do. How are we doing it? We're at. We still need to be generating way more food than this. Because we're generating one hundred and twenty plastics. We need to generate more food. More food needs to happen. Otherwise, we can't get anything done here. Put a farm over there. Uh, build, construct a Russian embassy. Probably valid to put all the, all the embassies near the capital, so. We'll put, all, we'll put them all next, adjacent to, next to the capital. All the embassies will be next to each other, so, you know, all the spies get to only be in one place at the same time. Right, let's increase our standings. A seaport. We haven't got a seaport? We've not got a seaport. Right, we've got one more left. What can we do with one more left? Uh, Surveying so moving over there. All right, we start earning money because we do not have money right now. Let's, say, let's look at diplomacy. What have we got over here? So, seven months remaining to increase. Like-minded nation. Upgrade a road. Could upgrade a road. We're a corrupt as hell country right now. Intelligence greater fast justice, no Karifi rights. Trending to one. Okay, we need to increase our, our rule of law. Uh I haven't got I can't do Karifi rights at the moment because I haven't got a citizenship um thing. I can't do rule of law is difficult because I haven't got a justice ministry at the moment. That's trending to it's, 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 Trending to one, that's trending to six point five, that's staying at four, that's staying at four point five. Okay. Intelligence grey areas is something we can probably look into. Louis, what's our current increase of Intel? What's our Intel gain per turn right now? Is it one? That would, that would increase our rule of law. Well, hang on. Your approval is really low. I need to, I need to improve your approval because your approval is bad. Remove units from the spent movement. Do that now before I forget. That's a historical heritage site. Okay. So, where's Saba? Saba is over here. Why is Saba having such issues with entertainment? The main road has some dirt road section because of the mech. Yeah, hang on. Let's, let's have a look at... How are we doing on... Oh, sorry, is it? Traffic lens. 
Pollution. I see you have discovered the pollution lens. I have. Pollution is generated from some buildings and from heavy traffic. Pollution That's fine. Will... Yeah, get that. This is what this is attractiveness. I see you have discovered the attractiveness lens. Put simply, the more. Yeah, cool. Fine. Traffic lens. There's some traffic issues there. Everything else. It's not bad enough to, to warrant an upgrade, is it? There you go. That solves that problem at least. Um okay. See, so the mute button. Use this button to, to whenever you feel like to shut me the hell up. Uh so approval lens. Yeah. Saba does not like me. I need to improve my Saba, which means I want to put a lot of stuff in here. Can we build something here that's going to improve stuff in Saba without affecting my budget? Environment and entertainment is going to go way up. It's the nature preserve, one per province. It's a huge upfront cost. A huge upfront cost. Public garden has a budget hit. But it's a huge... Okay, fine. A budget hit of one. Hopefully it means you like me a little bit more here. Put a Public garden. There we go. Thank you. Right. Next turn, please. Excellency, business owners are upset that the minimum wage for your government has made it difficult to stay profitable, particularly when completing businesses that operate in neighboring countries that are able to pay workers far less. These fragile capitalists need to stay quiet. <laughs> yep, screw you. Uh, getting Basenji's prosperity up, though, would be helpful. Fine, I'll back you out. Increase my increase everything as much as possible. Excellency, we just we just see how pleased I am that you've increased your relationship with the Russian Federation. Thanks. If you're caught in a bad what what was that? If you're caught in a bad situation, you can retire. Why am I caught in a bad situation? Don't know. Um. Right, who's what's happening right now? What's happening this turn? Um. Oh, let's look at our budget. Nine. Okay, so a lot of the stuff's gone up again. So subsidies, we can drop subsidies down a bit here. No, I can't, can I? Damn it, because they've been up for too long. You can't cut budgets just after putting them up again because it's a very unpopular decision. You can't just do like, oh, this, this, this month you get money, next month you don't. So I'll have to check this every month to see when I can lower these again. Um, at least nothing's in the red right now. Nothing's in the red right now. So we've, we've helped that out at least. We are generating... 101 manufactured plants. How's export? How's it? Actually, let's, let's talk to some of the other people. Because we know you, right? You've got that. You want oil? Pro you want processed food? We're not using processed food yet. So you want to sell food to... To Axjan. UN, UN camps are free. UN camps are free. They don't cost me anything. In the sense that, I guess we could get rid of them. Actually, are we providing enough food? We're not providing enough food, that's the only problem here. We're not providing enough food. We're not providing enough food. We need to, we need to have more farms down before we can get rid of those plants. Once we do that, I suppose, we'll have, we can have more stuff. Because food industries are only six at the moment. Because yeah, we're selling 31 to the public. So how much are we missing out on? We're missing out on basically 12 worth. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build a couple more. I'm gonna build a couple more farms. Where we can. A couple more agricultural I can, I can build I can build one more agricultural field somewhere. Uh we'll put that. Where should we put that? Let's spread it out a bit. Who's actually who's got the most workers right now? Karik and Karif. Fine, I'll put one over there. So 
Got some 12. Can I get rid of one of these UN camps? Because you produce, you producing, how much do you earn? You produce already, how much do you produce? You produce 55. You produce, what's the one over here? You producing 47. So, so yeah, okay, so if we remove you, bam. So next month, we should hopefully be making more, f yeah, we're increasing my more because we're actually, we're producing food from our own people. At the same time, I'm going to see if I can sell food to, um, you lot. So, uh, sell some of the food supply chain. So let's go talk to you. Call Axtjan. Call Greetings, Excellency. I wanted to introduce myself as Prime Minister Rashid Nazari into the free state of Axtjan. Congratulations on your recent election. I just hope your regime will be a supportive member of the international community. You don't like us very much. Makes frequent demands in limited imports. The free state of Axtjan received significant foreign aid from the Soviet Union. So, okay, so you are the Russian supported nation. Transforming it rapidly from an underdeveloped mountainous country to a Soviet style autocracy in just a few decades. It relies heavily on imports for most of its energy needs. Ask Tijan's democratic credentials were regarded as relatively strong in the immediate post Soviet area, but corruption and nepotism have marred the country's future, and democratic freedoms have diminished in recent years. Resentment at widespread poverty and ethnic divisions between North and South have spilled over into violence, and the country has a long history of removing leaders from power due to popular discontent. A 2003 constitutional referendum curtailed the president's power in favor of the prime minister, and since then, Axtejan has been ruled by multi-party coalitions. Its relatively democratic nature stands out in a region dominated by autocrats. Most of the population of Axtejan follows the old ways, although there has been a growing interest in other faiths among those seeking a new ethnic or national identity. You want to some of my food, please? We'll get up to 19 there. So we'll propose some trade. You're now ambivalent to us. I'll take that. Um, I can sell you household goods luxuries. I can I can do nothing major there. Let's just call you. Let's learn about Kalshara. Greetings, Excellency. My name is President Adela Aziz of the Republic of Kalshara. I wanted to congratulate you on your recent election. Yes. With its high literacy rate and, tra and traditional mercantile control, Kalshara has traditionally been an important commercial hub for the region. Unfortunately, it has also been at the center of regional conflicts because its borders are in uniquely complex communal makeup. The country has been a refuge for the region's multi-ethnic, multi-religious minorities for centuries, and now seems to exist in a perpetual state of civil war. Kalshara's democratic governments remain fragile and increasingly at the mercy of the politics of their neighbors. Concerns have been raised that the drive toward further industrialization could pose a serious threat to the relatively pristine environment. Environment collectivists are also objected to pans for a rare earth metals processing plant in a nearby a coral reef. I wanted to say, I just wanted to talk to you and learn what you're about. It's fine. Diplomatic influence going down because I just did that. So it's going to go. It's going to go back up for in seven months' time. Right. So we need to build a road here so we can sell some of our food that we're not currently using. Insufficient. Oh God! Insufficient funds. Oh, you actually can Hang on. Can I get three done? Woof. The last of my money, but we're gonna get a bunch next. Now we got a lot of income this time because now we're we're selling a bunch of food right now. Thank God for that. Okay, cool. Um, I have got no money. What's your favorite? Your favors are worth a hundred. You know what? I'm gonna spend one favor just to get some money. A toll roads are working in there. Got one more point left over. Excellency. Should, get, should you get over? You can't get over there, can you? Damn. You're one square away from that. Okay, so we work towards that. Next turn, we'll find out what that is. Um. Our power is okay. So we can what we can waste capture it requires twenty five and one favor from the So we got favors in defense, so we can upgrade this. We can upgrade you. Excellency. If we had the money. Or no, we can't upgrade you. Can we upgrade you? 
no, I created Rude. I want, I want the Fly Boys. Oh, we can't upgrade, we can upgrade you. Upgrade promote unit is up there. Promote unit there. Requires one favor from the Minister of Defense to promote the unit. Um, can I promote you? Excellency. Promote you requires Minister of Natural Resources. Become a prospector. Um, you can build a journalist. I've got, I'm not going to... Too expensive. Way too expensive. Excellency. When did we make infantry? When did we make this infantry? I don't remember ever making this infantry. Good to know they actually infantry attack airborne squadrons as well. Automatic, but they do that. When did I make this infantry? The unexpected. I got it as a reward. A while back then, because I wasn't paying attention to the damn thing. Anyway, the unexpected are there. I'll set you over there. I got one point left over. What am I going to do with that one point? I want something that doesn't cost me any money. Okay, who can I increase subsidies on? You're fucking. The beneath is fine. Saba does need increases in a lot of in a lot of things, like in health, in tourism, and there. You know what? Let's keep it steady for the time being. What am I spending my points on? Faith Assembly. A sacred place where protection is the always made worship. Religious is a set here. Only one permitted must be built next to a town. Intelligence Agency. Our most elite psychopaths, sociopaths, and psychologists at work here, doing whatever you think is necessary in the interests of national security. Which is plus one intelligence if constructed next to a foreign embassy. One per country must be built next to a town. It's tempting, I'll be honest. Let me put you down here. Put you like there. I'll put that there then. Bam. You have some. In addition to improving regional public safety, the intelligence agency allows you to spend that intelligence on spies. Spies are specially designed to find rebel camps hidden in your country, and at higher levels, they can unlock more powerful abilities. Okay, so, training intelligence officers. Intelligence help rapidly isolate the location of rebel training camps without having to accidentally fump, stumble on them. Share intel. Exchange information with friendly neighboring countries and regional influencers, potentially furthering their interest in removing their relationship. Plus 10 relations with all friendly or like-minded nations. Exploit asset. Get some dirt to the prominent VIP and find yourself a new source of revenue. 50% chance of receiving $20. Okay. Okay, no, that, that, that works. We will, we, will, we, will, we will make work. We will make do with that. We're also going to be generating a bunch of intelligence to turn as far as I understand it, so... Maybe we can find these camps as well. Enemies plotting. Well, we found some. Basenji spy operating Zarbul has been captured. Uh, I can't do. Can I do that? Uh. I'll apologize. Get some get the intelligence. I'm about to spend a bunch of it anyway. I need assistance. The approval of liberal sisters in Karif. 
Okay, improve liberal approval in Karif. Okay, we're well, gonna try that. You get a bunch of you get a bunch of that now. Okay, good. Um, all right. Two turns to do that. Okay. In which case, hang on. Uh, can we expedite you? Okay, expedite you. There. Fort Basenji. Right, you're staying over here. You are retreating to the to the military base to heal up. Yeah, that's that sorted out. Uh, you will train an intelligence officer. Potential camps there. Ooh, who wants to be my spy? I got an, I got a, I got a potential spy to have here. Uh, promote units to so long distance photography. What guns you to find? Assassin. In the to murder a rebel sympathizer. Nice. Wants to be my spy. Or a name for a spy, at least. Okay, let's, let's send you this way. If money isn't coming. How am I going to get you to the liberals to like here? You call this healthcare. So I can't. Courts. Okay, I can't do justice or citizenship. I'm sorry. I'm going to improve your liberals here. Sneaky Shayla. Sheila. Okay, you're going over there. What do liberals like? <laughs> what do liberals like? Um... Health access. Hospital in Karif. They don't. Yeah, the healthcare's pretty. They want. Uh, um. Liberals are on the way up at the moment, so maybe I'll give it a while. See if it happens. Because. So we want to improve that. Target 51%. Jesus Christ. Um, that's minus 16. A, oh God. Minus 16 a turn to get guaranteed minimal income. Oh God. A progressive tax system 106, 111, 101. <gasps> I can actually move to I can actually move to progressive taxation system. Yep, screw that. If you got money, you're paying for stuff. Get the liberals to like it even more. All right, three producers over that. You're working on conscription. You're working on solar power. Protest guards, fiscal responsibility, entertainment, down pressure, urban approval, Basenjinet, regulate the internet, internet censorship. Plus one, that's where you're getting, that's where you're getting your intel from. Uh, limited education, now limited education. Okay. Well, we're just doing okay so far. Just got one more point to spend somewhere. I don't want to spend it on money. I can't afford. Actually, yeah, one thing. Can I can I start tweaking some of these down a bit? No, still there. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> Not from the internet. Okay, I can't lower those yet. Uh, commodity prices. We are selling this stuff, right? Yeah, we're exporting forty of our manufacture or food. We are producing more. And what I can do is just make another farm. I can make another farm. Ramai has, Ramai has a, hang on, you. Excellency. Very well. You need to go survey what the hell that is. What is that? Excellency. Oh. Gold, we have the money. 
We have the gold. You have found gold, Boskro. Maybe you can start serving over there next. Okay, so we can start working on gold, which gives us luxury resources. Smelters, manufacturing plants. How much would that cost me? I know, just let me look at the cost of the buildings first. I know I need a construction faction point, but let me look at the cost of the buildings, please. Okay. Excellency, these numbers represent civilian and military units that don't have any movement orders. Cool, yeah, fine. I, just, I know, I know there's stuff there. Understood. Go over there and Excellency. halt you out and you Excellency. halt there for the time being as well. Plus one HP, plus one attack versus mortar. Oscro are bling bling men. I'm... Both happy and disappointed you didn't use the word daddy. Alright, okay. Sneaky Sheila is going to have to go over there and have a look. Approval of all our citizens in Bonifa. Okay, so how is okay, so how is that coming along for you? Forty-four. Do you know how it's trending? And you want to get me to forty-eight percent? That's going to be thirty-nine. Bonifa's Bonifa's thirty-nine. Is Bonifa trending up? Hard to tell. Hard to actually tell what's happening here. Anyway, let's get a, let's get an intelligence officer move up here. You are Huh? over what over here? Really? Over there. I'll spend a point there then. Find the BLF encampment. For Basenji. For she went and locked. Knock knock. This dismantle a BLF changing camp. At which point, you guys love that apparently. Lovely. Which hopefully that'll help us out. Mm. Okay, fine. Um. How about a, how's the review coming here? Karik, yeah, it's still too soon. You're not, we're not yet. We're not yet selling food to the public. They're not yet eating it. I'm not sure what happens. I forgot what they mentioned. Something needs to happen for them to start eating processed foods and I don't remember what it is. Um, I am however gonna build another farm. Who's got the most workers at the moment? Uh, both of you do. So we'll give me another farm. It's relatively cheapish. We're getting about that much money a month anyway. Roll approval. There. I think it, it's C got problem because it lowered from to three. No, it's this one because you, you can't lower a budget increase so soon after making it. That causes problems. Hang on, so... Hang on. So the lower to the drop to every five months. And we're, working, we're working on that, we're working on that. Now, what is the issue here? Are you the only one who has budgeting problems? Because you've got a personal budget for the business development. Personal budget is 10. Okay, you've all got personal budgets. You're, you're the only one who actually has a policy that does anything. Uh, actually, what is the policy we're using for the military defense that's costing me money? National defense and gray areas. Conscription would actually get me a lot of money because it would have maintenance units and it wouldn't cost me anything to have an army. So it you know, wouldn't cost me anything. The occupation army is same price. Um, authorized use torture. That costs nothing. The liberals don't like that though, and we're trying to get liberals on side at the moment. 
To be fair, I'm getting I'm getting intelligence from. You know what? Okay, we're getting it. We're currently getting intelligence from from our intelligence agency. So we're going to turn off um, gray areas at the moment. Okay, we're doing. Um... Might as well build this now before it gets too busy later on. Damn. They're linked to everything nearby. Uh, how are we doing on traffic? This is still a bit of rough traffic here. But it's still okay at the moment. Okay. Let time pass. Ah, it's the gold. You go rest nearby the... Actually, I should remind you that next month marks the 5th anniversary of the Basenji Revolution. Um, you will, of course, be expected to make a public statement. Are there any other events you should be planned for the historic day? Well, the music festival... I would love to hold a music festival. They don't have a stadium. I would love to hold a music festival. So we'll hold a military parade. We'll hold a military parade, even though it's not what I want. But I want the entertainment to go up and approval to go up. We didn't get the conservative approval, but we got the entertainment up, so I'll take the entertainment up. The Russian Federation has proven a formidable ally for us. We think it should be a prudent feat to build a stronger relationship with them as well as working. I have got a strong relationship with them already. What more do you want? I want for Basenji. Um, I have no idea if that works. I have no idea if that's even useful. Uh, um, I don't particularly want to do this. I think I'm, I'm fine. Whatever. What do you want? They want us to be allied within eight months. Jesus. I haven't got a seaport, and I haven't got a climate change of greater than six. Well, they are the Russian back nation. I mean, the 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 uh, the the Tsar bill is the Russian back nation. You're backed by Russia. Are they the Russian back nation? No, they're, they're the American. They're the American back nation, aren't they? Tsar bill is the American back nation. Yeah, they're American back nation. Wonder why they're so happy with that. Huh, interesting. Level 1, level 2, level 3. They want us to get to level 3 in 8 months. That's not... Okay. Okay, so... Dan, to build a sea... Can you build a, can you build a seaport? A seaport... Increases prosperity by loads. It's going to cost me a bunch of money, but it's going to increase my prosperity by a bunch. So I'm happy to build a seaport. We will build a seaport. There's only one seaport in Basenji. I was going to put it in, I was going to put it in, in Karif, but there's no, there's no city in Karif. Here it actually makes sense to put you here, because there's an entire city supporting this, this port. Yeah, so it'll, 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 it'll give us back money in tax at some point, so... It'll cost me money, but hopefully, in as that goes up, smuggle control group acquire the parts group card to complete some clandestine projects. Not on tier two seaport. Okay, ship inspections. Prosperity goes up. I mean, prosperity going up is fantastic because prosperity going up actually helps us out with progressive tax system. The higher your average prosperity is, the more progressive the more progressive tax works with us. Forty six at the moment for eight months remaining. You have forty room eight nine months remaining. You still don't like us. Why do you... St okay, uh, the liberals are going way up. That's what I want. Who's going down? The plutocrats. I couldn't care less about you. Actually, what is my demographics at the moment? Demographics. Um... Demographics by province. So... 
So most of the Plutocrats are in Saba, which is why I'm probably having issues with that. Uh, the Basenjis are mostly... I mean, the Karifis are clearly in... Half of the Karifis live in Karif, obviously. Uh, the immigrants are mostly in Banifa and Karik. Karik. Illegal immigrants are only in Banifa and Saba. Liberals. I like the Karifa liberals. That's actually helpful as well. That makes it puts them on side. Yes, yeah, okay, so actually, uh, provinces of a demographic. Saba. Saba is heavily conservative, uh, rural, and religious. And that's why Saba is having issues, because Saba is heavily conservative. Party alignment. The, the Basanji National Party is seen as conservative, secular, rural, focused, and independent. The rebels are an extremist group. Okay. Uh, we have three points left over. Uh, are you doing anything at the moment? I don't think we've got any sign that there is a thing. Actually, how many for, for this at the moment? 120 there, 63 there. So there's... Our fire. If we go to, if we go to farmlands as a whole. Corruption. Corruption. So. We're producing 190 food. Of which we're selling 63 back to the public. And 120 is going to manufacturing plants. So we've got full manufacturing plants there. That's fine. We're actually consuming... Oh, we're actually consuming manufactured food now. Okay. But that does mean that... 120 plus 63 is... I've got seven food not accounted for right now. It'll be next turn. Next turn I need to get... What's it's January 2023. It's January 2023, so if I go to my diplomacy thing, that's going to go um, away soon. Rule of law, we're trending to 2.5. National security is going down to 5.5. We remove the other one. That is trending to 4. It's currently at 4.5 anyway. Okay, so that's going to get that's going to get better over due course. Getting you on site is going to be difficult though. What do, I, what, do I, what do I need for this now? Once per year. My climate leap change my climate rate. Actually, can I change my climate stuff? Seriously protective. Climate leadership would increase to loads. Solar power helps a lot anyway. Fine. Work on that anyway. Work on that. You are. Almost done with state investments. You are almost done with toll roads. I've got points to spend. I don't know what to put the, I've got points to spend. I'm not sure what to put. You are doing that. Yes. What can you actually do? I can promote you. I have no idea what to do with you. So wander around for a bit. Go have a journey to all the different things. Um. Are you... Are you... Excellency. Why has Alhasa got a red? Oh, the bending processed food. Good. Excellency. That's fine. We're, we're, we're producing processed food. Not a problem. Go over there. Chill. Uh, relax. Just fill yourself up. So Alhasa is now demanding processed food. That's good. That's good. We want that. We want that because processed food is 0.48 per unit. What? That's not that can't be the same money. That's not that can't possibly be correct. Hang on. Hang on, let's have a quick gander. Uh what's my calculator? Let's bring my calculator up here. Calculator. So 0 0.48 times 117. That's 56. So apparently that's... Oh no, it's not plus, plus 63, isn't it? Times 63. That's 30.24. So I'm not sure where that plus 13 is coming from. Um, 
Yeah, I don't understand where that 13 is coming from. Because we're selling 63. We're making 190. We're selling 63 to the people. And it says revenue is 113. 13, but 0.48 times 63 is 30.24. I'm not sure where that's going. Uh, that's not a review budget. Um, buildings, imports, loans. Oh, I know, I'm aware. But for, um, hang on. I, I can't mouse over this, unfortunately. But if you look at this, right, it says at the top here, 0.48 Basenji dollars per unit. Our cities are consuming 117, of which 63 is coming from our agricultural fields. We're not getting paid for the UN stuff. That's the problem with the UN. The UN provides food for free, so you don't get to see any money from it. Um... But if we are providing 63 units of food and they're worth 0.48 dollars each, we should be seeing a revenue of 30.24, not 13. We are seeing a revenue of... of but we're only seeing about 43% of our supposed revenue. Whereas here we're selling five to our cities. So 5 times 0.48 should be 2.4, and yet we're getting 21 revenue there. We're so first selling... Is that tax revenue, food? Because if we're selling 40 to the... 40 to... So we say, assume we're selling 40 to the neighbor and 5 to ourselves, that's 45. So 45 units times 2.48 is 21. That's correct. Am I... Hang on, am I... Am I paying the UN? 63... 63 minus 54 is 9. Times 0 0.48... No, that doesn't matter. 9 times 0.48... is 4.5. 4.05. That's not right. That's not correct either. So it's, hang on, if you have 63, if 13 revenue, divide that by 63. So food actually costs 0.21 rather than 0.48. I think that 0.48 number is incorrect. Is the best I can, is the best guess I've got is that 0.48 is the incorrect number. And it should be 0.21. So watch when you want to see what happens. Uh... I can't, I was going to buy, if I could, if I could build a farm this turn, I would. I'm not going to, so I can't. How about this? Is that, is that long enough? Okay, we can actually return these to their previous levels. But I don't need to. At the moment, we're making money, and it's making, it's helping stuff here. I want to get proof. We we'll improve Benifa as well, don't we? In fact, I'm going to if 28, I'm going to actually going to increase a little bit of stuff here. A couple. Can I put everything in? This is going to be a little bit hungry, but I'm going to move everything that's not on one is going to become two. Everything that's on one will become two. So we're not spending minimal on anything right now. We lose money on some of the income there, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run. Because also, we're not taking into account the fact that we just built a seaport. Um, I guess I clicked on that. The, 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 you can stop being all like, oh my god, things. Well, for moving from one to two costs like is an increase of one. So, so are you, why, are you quest, why are you exclamation marking? Excellency. Why are you exclamation marking? Assailed. Attack bonuses are reduced. Assailed? Right, whatever. Um, okay. I've got two points to spend on something that doesn't cost me any money. Is it development? Fiscal responsibility. Prioritize sustainability. Increases. Okay, what, is the, what is my urban to rural split at the moment? Uh, demographics. Nationwide approval. How much have I got? 
official statistics, demographics by province. So beneath, hang on, anyway, uh, demographics. Benifa is entirely urban. Saba is mostly rural. Karik is more urban. Karif is almost entirely rural. And Ruma is almost entirely rural. So I've only got literally only Karik and Benifa are actually urban. So you have what? You have... How many people live in these places? Karik. I can't tell. Uh, any development? Because putting that in there would lower. I, I'd go from minus three to minus four. Again, it's not a huge thing. Increasing environment and urban approval, rural approval would really go down, though. Plus, that is going to be a problem. So once, I think once that comes through, we'll we'll turn on that as well. Well, that's really going to tank my urban, my rural approval. How can I increase rural approval? How can I increase rural approval? Needle exchange, nutrition programs, advanced technologies, clean water incentive. There you go, that'll work. That's definitely something I want to work towards then, once the toll roads are done. Health beyond boundaries. We would open our borders to an international humanitarian medical NGO to establish an operation theater for reconstructive surgery and supply specialist surgeons and anesthetists, nurses to operate on patients with complicated war-related industries. Over doing so, will expose the brutality of our revolution to the world. Mandatory masks. <laughs> yes, please. No, don't change policies right now. Wear a bloody mask. Um... Well, the clean water initiative is a good thing to start with rural stuff afterwards, so we'll work on that. Uh, natural resources, trip mining, uh, environment for surveys, environment goes up. Open reservoirs. Regulate fishing, no. Finance, does anything affect rural people here? Uh, nothing particularly affects rules here. Anyway. What am I going to spend those points on? Do I have to spend those points on anything? Uh, well, we move you. Hang on, we're gonna do that. We'll, we'll, we'll uh, expedite you. Run all the way over there. We'll speed. We'll speed you along. We'll speed you along. Excellency. More gold, right? And what do we else have here? There's a question mark down there. There's two question marks there and a question mark there. Okay, move over there. And we'll end the turn. Welfare of conservative citizens is something we weren't concerned about. We urge you to increase their approval. Screw you. Right. How is the how's Karif working out? Forty seven increasing. Seven months. Okay, hopefully we'll get there in time. Uh, you want 42, how's that coming along? Slowly increasing, other than the plutocrats, it's all going up. Uh, Karif liberals are starting to plateau a bit, but they're, actually, that's the communists. The communists are really happy. Uh, the liberals are still going up, so while they're going up, I'm not going to be too worried. Okay, um...
So how are we doing here? See, it's just February 20th. Have we... Okay, so we're currently trending to four again. Which means now is the time we can take out we can take out another um, another UN camp. We'll build a farm and put and take out a UN camp. Increases ruler approval as well because that's required. Uh, here, UN camp is over there. Cool. We'll build a farm right beside you before we can just say, you know what, screw you, buddy. So, how many UN camps do you have left? You've got, what, one, two UN camps left. Okay. That's going to time out, because I don't think I can... That would, it's too early in the game to even think about doing stuff like that. Um, I want to improve these two. These are the important ones. 47 and... We'll see what this... Okay, we'll have to tell it this next, next turn. Um... I've got the money to keep building stuff. 15 and 29. Ooh. Okay, so how... So how are we doing on the finance front? That is currently 109, 113, 103. We'll keep that working there. State investments is, about, is going to trigger real soon. 42. The entirety of Benifa is going up a little bit at a time. Okay. 33 in Saba. Oh my god, Saba, please. Saba has balanced of can Plutocrats, don't care. Saba has kind of evened out though. Who are the lowest ones? The urbans in Saba are the, are the unhappiest. Really? Why are the urbans in Saba so unhappy? That makes little sense to me. A hospital. Public garden. I can't put the holy, you know, the holy place. Must be built on a site where a cleric has had a religious experience. Um, mining. I mean, we could build a mine to get... We could start, actually, does anyone, want to, does anyone want to buy gold from me? Imports. Uh, ask Christian is... is can, we can, you want gold. We can sell gold to you as well. So you can put a, we can put a gold mine there. How much places have you got? You are Rumai. Rumai's got a lot of spare workers right now, so you put a gold mine there. Gold mine costs how much? And gold mine costs twenty, so I actually can't do gold because if I do gold, I won't be able to get a. Ne not this turn. Next turn, we'll put a gold mine down there. Right. Might as well, might as well move you along then, because I've got nothing else to do. Might as well move you along and see what else we get around here. Excellency. Hello? Excellency. Very well. Excellency. Uh, fine, let's, let's speed you along then. Expedite you. Very well. Okay. Um... Let me just, hang on, so how much? You are oil demand 140, power generation 140. Oil production 158. Which means that you are slightly... Okay, so we're going to connect you here. Because we just can. Corruption 1%. Yeah. What can we do with our intelligence here? We can exploit an asset to get some money. We don't need to get another intelligence offer. That's not required right now. We've got one. That's plenty. So in fact, what are you doing, dealer? Ah, hello. We have indications that there's a camp there. Start moving down, then. 
quickly on fading turns. The president is overseeing us. Expedite your journey down to this side of the map, please. Sub is 683, Benif is 134, Karif is 113, Rumai is 116. So Saba is the least populous district as well. Okay, we're going to go down there. Armor, follow behind as well, I think. Infantry, come as well. Infantry, come as well. You know what? Airborne, join the fun. It'll take a while, but let's head, we'll head, you bunch will head down there. Excellency, unfortunately our intelligence service has picked up a college student who was distributing BLF propaganda in Adava. Unfortunately, the interaction was recorded and is now being spreading over social media. There is some ambiguity in our laws as to whether advocating in favour of violence against our government constitutes a crime. The fate of the student will now have political ramifications. I still need to get the liberal approval up, so we're going to be working on liberal approval. I'm sorry, conservatives. Ha! <laughs> no, I'm not. Um... How are you doing there? Liberal food, Karif. Excellency, it's requested we've completed plans for new policy direction, state investments. New options in the budget menu will allow her to invest treasury surpluses and secure the future for our people. Thank you. Uh, what was I working on next time? The one of the unpaid interns? Same thing, isn't it? Uh... Uh, what can we work? What are you going to work on? Tax faith organizations. Ah. Uh, regulate cryptocurrency. Prosperity is going to go down a little bit, but it'll get a bit of income and corruption, corruption goes down. Yes? No, hang on. Work on a casino. Let me build a casino at least. Uh, hello. Solar power is done. Beautiful. Work on, uh, Uh, infrastructure renewal. And you are doing toll roads. Do that and turn on toll roads as well. Toll roads are currently on. So toll roads are on, but uh, that's going down. So environment goes up, climate change goes up, urban goes up, world's going to go collapse. Preferred shooting usual. Uh, clean water initiative. I'm just working on that then, please. We can also we can also build a new a new ministry. Okay, we can get a new ministry down. That's important. Uh, hang on, let's work you then. Head down here. Uh, fine. Uh, foreign affairs, justice, citizenship. Don't you? So. Border policy, close borders, shut down all borders, travel bans, open borders, work visas. Karifi rights, non-existent, no, hell no. Uh, Karifi rights, limited. Karifi rights, equal Karifi rights, self-determination. Policies, apologist policies. Our, policy, our history is an ugly one, fraught with many atrocities. For us to heal, we must return what was stolen, pay reparations for what was lost, apologize to those who are armed, and take ownership of the truth, no matter what cost to our pride. Cannot self-praise on addressing the nation. Liberal approval, that's fine, we'll keep that for the time being. Conservationist, our history must be carefully documented and understood to be neutral in partial context so that we may learn from it without failing victim to an endless cycle of persecutor and persecuted. A better percentage requires us to move forward while acknowledging the truth of the path. Revisionist. So we can blame... What is history but a fable agreed upon? We will rewrite the history books to highlight our positive accomplishments and gloss over our dark chapters. Can blame the Karifi or immigrants for Basenji's troubles when addressing the nation. Yeah, I can now build solar power plants, I think. It's not, if I go to construction, I think I can actually build solar power plants now. Our nationalist... Our national anthem clearly states we are the greatest of countries. So what was unclear about that to you? Basically... 
<laughs> we can blame other countries for our own troubles. Uh, the Justice Department gives us negligent policing. Uh, bureaucratic policing. Which is better, it costs me more though. Brutal policing. Or martial law. Wow, those are the choices. Negligent policing, bureaucratic policing, brutal policing, and martial law. Huh. And fast justice and fair justice. Our foreign affairs gives us diplomacy, non-aligned. We can favor China, we can favor Russia, we can favor the US. So over... That, that's probably why, how you can benefit one country over another. Uh, international agenda is prioritize security, prioritize diplomacy, prioritize climate change, prioritize rule of law. Hmm. Who do I want as the minister? What ministers do I want? I want. A, I, do, I do want a minister. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll get a. Yeah, because that, that, that's tanking a rule of law as well. So. Go for uh, let's go for let's, 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 let's pick a, a foreign affairs one. Bashdi Morocco's from Rumai, conservative secular. Bashdi isn't really sure what he's doing here. He was tending to his flock of sheep when he was pulled into an unmarked black limo and told that Basenji needed his assistance with an international urgency. Oh wow, we actually haven't got a, 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 a proper choice here. He's the guy who was inside the 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 mech. <laughs> we can make him our minister of of, of foreign affairs. Uh, okay, I guess I guess we're not doing that then, because people can go, if we get justice minister, we can get we can get these people who can be justice ministers and so forth. Um, or citizenship. There literally isn't a place, we literally haven't got a single person who's currently free who could be your foreign affairs minister. I'm assuming the only foreign affairs minister we have are these. One of these could have been foreign affairs minister otherwise. Ahead of his time. Uh, damn, I really wanted to use you, but uh, I guess we can't use you at the moment. Fine, we'll get one of you in. Actually, what costs me money here? Travel bans, non-existent. You cost me some money, but... Because if I give the... There's the one that's... Uh, Negative policing costs me money. That could cost me lots of money as well. And actually, yes, yeah, so we'll go here. We'll give you you, because her ministry has zero cost. This started as a career as a human rights lawyer and humanitarian before accepting a position as a claim university professor published expert on Basenji's political history. Her doctoral thesis investigate the influence of women in Basenji anti-monarchist movements throughout the Cold War. She's a reformist who campaigned in Rumai on a justice platform. She has no family on record and is suspected to be an opioid addict. Okay, so we'll put you there, Mediha. Uh, Decriminalize soft drugs? Yes. Decriminalize alcohol. State curfew, religious police, hell no, drone free zones. Basenji police are given authorization to shoot down drones that occupy a drone free zone for the protection of the people. Garnish wages. Our courts are empowered to collect overdue fines and levies directly from a citizen's employer. Nope. Truth and reconciliation. We must move forward from the era of King Salmon and the past two civil wars by documenting the stories of those whose lives were affected in and granting amnesty for combatants on both sides. I like that. Obscenity laws? No, screw that. Permanent extradition. Foreigners who commit crimes in Basenji may be returned to their home country for sentencing. That increases approval of legal immigrants? That feels like it's a mistake. Um, we'll switch you to fair justice. It's going to cost me nothing because of you, thankfully. So fair justice. Bam. 
and bureaucratic policing. Which also increases rule of law. We're also going to give yourself, start working on uh, truth and reconciliation. Because, absolutely. Civil War's over, people. Get over it. You're done. Armor. Keep moving. Infantry. Keep moving. Choppers. You're still moving. We're getting... Are we, so what's, what's, our, what's our budget like at the moment? 33. Okay, okay. Well, so this is, you are currently at 47. You're currently at 43. So everything's at work. So I think, think you can do this game and then fast forward to the thinking it could actually have been that way too. Yeah, I know, right? International scientists are seeking permission to set up laboratories in Basenji to conduct human cloning experiments that are banned in approximately 80 other nations. Basenji, at present, has no law specifically prohibiting human and cloning experimentation per se. So what do we say? We should create a new law banning human cloning immediately. Two... It's not worth essentially twenty-four dollars for point of rule of law. So no, you're not allowed, you're not allowed to ban. You're not allowed to, cloning is also illegal here. The welfare of conservative citizens or something you're concerned about. Don't care about conservative citizens. Go away. Um. So okay, that was forty-eight. Was that forty-seven last turn? Possibly. Um. Total approval in Benifa. 46, I think that is going up, so hopefully in the last two, in the last six months. Those numbers are increasing. Those numbers are increasing. All right, okay, so have we found the, the place yet? You got a BLF encampment. Okay, uh, thank you. Have you done there? Fine, in, case, in that case, you stay there for the time being, just because... I don't think you're going to be required. Um, what was I going to do this turn? Oh, you're currently away. Great. Thanks. <laughs> she, I put her in there and she immediately just vapes away. Ah, great. And this turn, it means this costs money. One month and she's already gone to have a... So, risky hedge funds. Oh, okay, so I can invest in safer annuities. Ooh, I like that. I can I can invest. Sorry, I need to stand up because I got to turn on the light, but I'm not going to bother turning on something 20 minutes to go. It's 24 a year, but that's actually worth investing in safer annuities. We could get anywhere between that's 24 a year, which means that what we would that's what we would get here if you invest if you got two a month. But it does mean that we could get up to 60 a, 60 a year if the markets go well. We don't have enough stuff there. We could go for issued bonds. We, what was the mess we did this? It was over 18 months. That was 17 interest, which was 34, wasn't it? We calculated it as it was 34... Um, dollars. Over 18 months, it's 34 dollars. 18 months is basically 36. So technically, the investments there would be 24 per year, which means a year and a half is 36, give or take. Given that the interest there is 34, the, the investment here would pay off the interest from that bond. I'm almost tempted to get that bond there now and immediately buy, use one of those 100 to immediately invest. Maybe even invest twice. Issue bonds and immediately invest twice. No, wait, wait, wait. I, need, I don't. I'm, I'm not. Mm, no, hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, Nemo. It's, I've also. I'm not just paying back the interest. i got to pick back the whole bloody thing. Um. IMF loans are better, but I haven't got the I haven't got the I have not got the stuff there. I'll just wait. I mean, there's no point loaning at the moment. I'll just wait until like next turn when I've got money and just start investing it properly in safe stuff. 
Only three costs for militia. Because I've got conscription on, I think. Is that right? Is that conscription that's working out here? I'll soon have conscription, so once conscription comes in, the cost is going to go way down. Anyway, are you ready for this? You all ready for this? Expedite you. Let's try this one. Put Basenji! You left encampment down. Okay. Everyone here likes that. Oh, everyone likes that. Okay, the whole the whole country likes me to get the VLF. Right, move back there. So you can move back to there then. That was a bit of a... I wasn't sure if more would spawn. That was the issue there. Any other camps? Not as far as I can see. They are here because like, my greatest source of unhappiness is in Saba. I need to get Saba on side. <laughs> Saba on side. Can I? Because we are, again, we're down to what? We're down to two camps? We're down to two camps. We're providing the food. We're exporting oil. The oil refineries... Are we? Hang on. Uh, diplomacy, hi. Let's have a chat. Do you want to renegotiate our... I'd like to export more than that, please, but I guess that's not allowed. Propose free trade. And no one else wants to... Is she, do you want... Yeah, because I've got... How much spare oil have I got, by the way? Commodity prices... Because... We have... We're currently producing a ton of oil. A bunch of oil. And I'm not even convinced we're not using all of it. I'm convinced we're not using all of it. Because the only thing we're using oil for inside the country is for... Plastics, 140. 60 for export, that's 200. Plus... 340. So that's 340 of our... Our current is 340, and we're currently producing 478. Including the exports is 340, so we can we've got like 120 fuel not you not being used over here. Like we've, we're producing loads. Like, would you like to to we like to export some oil to you? Because we've got oil to spend right now. Um, who's not doing anything? You are you? Excellency. Okay, we're gonna. What is that? We found uranium. Ooh. How is you doing on traffic, by the way? Not doing too bad. I mean, there's a bit of traffic over here. It's not too bad. No mine build? I guess I could build the mines now. We'll, uh, build, uh, we'll think about building and selling all gold, won't we? So, construction. I want to I want to make sure I've got enough money for... Um... So, we'll put the mine down there. Let's road you up over here. You got nothing. You got nothing to do at the moment, have you? No. Next turn, we'll sell some gold. Expect for yeah. So, I'm, 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 I know it's there, but I'm not touching it at the moment. So we could hopefully get into the, the the amount required to start investing next turn. Get an investment. All right. So you're gonna you're gonna start moving back as well. Right. Everyone's moved. Needs to move. Good. So, May 2023. Three gunmen opened fire in a crowded restaurant in Tabash today. 15 people were killed, 23 were injured. A few new fundamentalists discriminated, calling itself Alter Taruf Al Tinu has claimed responsibility. They are demanding that you release several Basenji prisoners for the. Because of the political views. 
I needed way more intelligence. Holy crap. Damn. I don't want to. I don't, I don't want to tank liberal approval at the moment. I know I don't want to tank. I don't want to tank liberal approval because I don't. I don't integrate the infidels. I'm not a monster. I don't want to release. I don't want to release the prisoners because that's gonna. Damn, I really wish I had the resources for this. Time to reinvent the Stasi. What's my invent? What's, what am I? What, what's Sneaky Sheila doing that we missed this? I hate thoughts and prayers, but it's the only thing I'm comfortable with right now. It's the only thing I'm comfortable in right now. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm not releasing the prisoners. Although releasing the, the fact that releasing the prisoners doesn't, in fact, lower public safety is surprising to me. That's going to kill my little... If it was one turn away, if we were one turn away, democratic uh, provincial statistics. Because that's why it's liberals in Karif are so close to being 49... At 51, we get there. Is that dropping? Okay. Damn. Fine. Whatever. Have your prisoners. Are they, do, they, do they exist? If I go to demographics, party alignment. No, they still don't exist, technically. Right, okay. Krim Suleiman, conscription. Let's put them in the side. Work on... Why was that not on? That makes there's no downside to having that on as far as I'm aware. Um welcome back. I'll do that at least. If you have a ground based laser at some point we're gonna hit by meteor. Damn, I'm really upset about that. How are we doing here, though? Liberal approval, 48. Four months. That needs to go up higher in Karif. How can I make you liberals like me more in Karif? Um, why is this... By the, by the way... Why is... My prosperity going down everywhere? Uh, go to review budget. What's, what's prosperity three? What have I done? This to, what's tanked my prosperity? Don't follow. What has tanked my prosperity? Actually, why are we only making 119 manufacturing? What? Hang on. What's my manufacturing plant? Hmm. Hmm. Total fuel beneath uh what do you say? Okay, so that's gonna trigger next month, we hope. We hope that'll trigger next month. Who gives me the most intelligence for daybreak, I don't know. Because because of you, I really need to keep people happy. Because of your tactless, I really need to make sure I succeed at all the stuff like that. So I've got four months to get you happy. Uh, Karif. So who's 
yes, conservatives are coming down, but it's, I only care about the liberals. Liberals have plateaued, uh, liberals have kind of plateaued a bit. So I need to do something in Karif to improve solar array liberal approval. That adds to the power supply. Okay, build a solar power plant then. Here, maybe that helps with the liberal approval. Um. Okay, that's fine. We'll slowly generate a bit of power there. What's 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 happened to prosperity here? What's what is going on? If I remove everything, what happened here that they started taking a dive? Buildings, national aid camp, Russian power. If I remove the national aid aid camp, it'll go up again. Okay. Beneath metrics, operational regional budget is down. Why is regional budget down? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, because there are two. Ideally, you want to bring everything up here. Once, once I've got money, I want to bring everything up to at least four, I think. Um, okay. Uh, right, that explains a lot, in which case. Um, demographics. No, hang on. I don't want to see. What was that screen I had before? What's tourism data? I haven't got any tourism. Uh, you, I was, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to sell, uh, diplomacy, you want to call on you, hi, I'd like to sell you gold, not much, but it's like to sell you some gold, cool, the climate change is fine, our rule of law, the Karifi rights is going to be a problem, it's trending upwards, actually, which is very good, no security's doing okay, we're having to doing fine as well. In fact, I, ooh, if we're at that point, I can actually. How many are we producing? We're producing 245. So 120 plus 96 is. Wow, Nemo, come on. 216. 132 plus 120 is 250, 252, which means I'm just shy of being able to do everything. So I can remove one thing. So, um, you, hi, we're going to get rid of your, your United States. Yeah, this window. We're going to remove your aid camp there because that's going down a bit. And we're going to remove that aid camp there. Because we can. That'll help you there. That'll, that'll tend upwards again now. It'll tend, trend, it'll trend upwards again. Good. Um, here. So if you remove that, that doesn't actually show us anything there. Education super high. Limited education. Historical site building. That's why it's so high here. Disparity went up a lot. Drop down, but this should be fine. Something stopped here. Hang on, if I, I, want, I want just prosperity. Can I remove everything except for prosperity? Something happened two months ago that tanked my prosperity, and I can't remember what it was. Does anyone have any idea what it was? My investments. I haven't invested anything yet. I increased and I, I haven't I haven't lowered any expenditure. I haven't lowered any expenditure. This move everyone needs to be moved, because before I forget. Was there like a buff that was going on that I expired? I still need to think about the damn bloody um, liberals and Karif. 
Oh, we did, we did do that. That's the, that's the whole point of the power plant. The power plant might help there. Okay. Um, I have to build a second one. I'll have to build a second one, but ideally I don't have to do that. Did you build a smelter for your gold mine? I didn't build a smelter for gold. I want to save up money first. I'm still saving up money. I'm currently, at the moment, I'm exporting gold. At the moment, I'm exporting gold. Doesn't want to, doesn't want to buy gold, mine, gold bars, by the way. And no one's buying gold bars off me, so at the moment, there's no need to make that because no one's demanding luxury goods. So there's nothing to smelt gold bars into. Neither are they doing consumer electronics. So there's nothing, to, there's no reason to turn those into gold bars yet. Uh, you're fine as dandy. We're not changing anything here. 111, 116, 106 is fine. Minimum wage. I mean, putting that there would be okay, but it's going to tank my income. Hang on, one second. Surely by this point... How am I still seen as conservative? I don't understand that. I really don't. <laughs> I don't understand how I'm seen as conservative. Considering conserv cons conservative approval is pretty damn bad. Communists love me at the moment. Le the legals actually really like me, which is odd. The liberals need to, that needs to go up. Although we're at 42 now. We were under 40 a couple of turns ago, so I'll take that. Uh, three turns worth. Uh, where are you, buddy? Hang on, let's go to... Where are you? Fine, what do you have here? Uh, cultural po approve the cultural policies. Career should be in a country that's working. Satisfied our tax policies. We love Minister Badur. Satisfied that. Approve the cultural policies. Satisfied. See, all the liberals here are loving it. What about you? Conservative. Yeah, you hate it here. Yeah. Um, liberal sector. Approve. Approve. Loves the minister. Liberal religious. Minister Al Hadi is a national embarrassment. Who's Al Hadi? Oh, you. Um, so what, can he change any of these policies? Well, I think everything here is fine. Foreign affairs. Oh, I can change this at the moment. I'm focus on climate, focus on climate change then. It's fine. We'll keep new. We'll keep stuff over there. I think everything's okay over here. Forty-eight. Come on, go up, go up! Damn it. So I just do this for two turns. It's gonna. I'm between between forty-seven and. Possible. We're between 47 and 6, 7, 6, 17. So we're going to go down to between 30 and... Where are you? Between 30 and... Uh, 60. Take it. They should like that as well, then. Get the liberals on the side. Okay. One more point to spend somewhere. It was you, wasn't it? It was you. Excellency. Very well. Move up there and end the turn. Okay, under the former monarchy, Basenji maternity leave policies were limited to 12 weeks with 0% wages paid. With a new constitution and a new democracy, Basenji citizens are now requesting both the government and employers work together to produce a more progressive policy with, aligned with the rest of the world. 
Give 12 weeks of 100% salary comparable to Mexico. Give 18 weeks at 70% salary comparable to Finland. Give 26 weeks at 100% salary comparable to Iran. 52 weeks at 100%? Really? Is our... Really? Are you... I don't... I don't think we're that much, are we? What is you? What is the UK? We're gonna, I'll end this one as we stop the turn, by the way, but... Hang on. UK maternity leave. I mean, if we are, I'll be impressed. Maternity pay. Statutory maternity, statutory maternity leave pay is paid up for 39 weeks. You get 90% average weekly earnings for the first six weeks. And then a... You get 90% you get for 39 weeks, basically. You don't get 100% for 52. Looking at the UK government website right now, Security Magic Maternity Play is paid for up to 39 weeks. You get 90% of your average weekly earnings before tax for the first six weeks, and then you get either 151, 100, 152 pounds or 90% of average weekly earnings, whichever is lower, for the next 33 weeks. You do not get 100% for a year. You should, but you don't. What the hell? Uh... 26 weeks is what, half a year. You know, take, take 26 weeks. 100. So, new policy unlocked for someone else is happy. Good. Build a public garden in Benifa. That's easy to do. Anyway, uh, so you are happy now. Anyway, we're gonna I'm gonna end now. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my just my checks here, then I'll call the episode there. I was gonna say, the, I mean, I, we should be able to afford that money if we like, you know, tax things. If we tax like Amazon, like we should, and stuff like that, and you know, we didn't have like Boris Johnson in power. Not that I don't think we have much of the people. Anyway, you're happy now. Congratulations. Oh, you've also got a clean water initiative. Well done. Turn that on. Beautiful. Beautifully done. Uh, you know, it's... You know, scholarships. That's fine. Work on. Actually, no. Uh, we did that. We've done work there. Rural internet access. That doesn't actually improve the rural, really. Great, fantastic, brilliant, beautiful. Work on scholarships for the time being. Um, liberal approval of Karifi. Fifty-one. Come on, next next turn. That's sorted. Um, uh, you want to build a public garden in Benifa, but that'll we'll, we'll deal with this next time. We've done pretty good, actually. I mean, so far so good. I mean, our, what's our total approval rating at the moment? Not diplomacy, uh, demographics. 43, so we're doing all right. We're not... Tax isn't changing until laws change. Because at the moment, money rules the law courts. So until money stops ruling law courts, that's not going to change. I mean, what was it? It was... Was it thing Channel 4 put out today? Like an ex Exxon employee basically says that Exxon and other oil companies has been have been actively campaigning against like actively working very hard against climate change regulation. Like we knew they were, but it's now it's been said by an Exxon employee came out today. What kind of country is democratic in this a kind that I want to live in? One where I think things I'm going to try to do the things I want to do. Yeah, not surprised at all. I mean, like we like we knew it. We everyone knows it, but it's, it's it's different from actually getting it straight from the horse's mouth, so to speak.
Ah. <sighs> of course they are. I mean, the, the the PR PR departments for like massive corporations are some of the biggest thing departments they've got. Because that's entirely that's entirely the point. Yeah, line of bubble scale. So there's a little bit of health issues in Saba still, which is weird. Why are your health issues? Hey, why are Saba's health issues so bad? Just before I end the episode, why are Saba's health issues so bad? I put it. You've got the hospital. Why do you have bad health? You're trending upwards. Have you just been? Have you just been low forever? And basically, have you been slowly climbing up? Which is possible. Actually, no. You have been in three for ages. What's the kind of moment there? Fine. You know what? I'm gonna. This is very much a one more turn kind of game, and I looked forward to carrying this on. Uh, probably my, this probably might be my Saturday game for a while because I've been enjoying this. Um, we'll see what we can do. And again, this is technically a roguelike in the sense that you are supposed to eventually fail. Um, I think you can unlock more ministers as well. I think there's there's more ministers you can unlock, so you can have a more variety of ministers. You can swap them around, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. This one more. Ani, hello. There's no, there's, no, there's not even any save slots because it's 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 just there's only one specific thing. And uh, I believe you, cabinet ministers. So there's six cabinet ministers well, I don't know yet. Man, that's awesome. I've got a Veteran Rat Man's World Babbler. There's seven I'm cabinet ministers we haven't man. unlocked yet. But that was really good fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, have a lovely rest of your weekend. And uh, I'll be back on Monday with more Solasta. I think we're getting to the end of Solasta. I'm not sure how long it's going to be, but I think we've, we're, we're reaching the final stretch. I also didn't just arrive. I believe you, Ani. <laughs> I believe you. Yeah, okay. I remember when, when I first got Rogue State Revolution, I sat down and started playing. I was like, you know what? I want to stream this. But there's just been so many other things I wanted to stream as well. It was kind of hard to find the time to do so. Um, so yeah, so Monday I'll carry on with Celesta. I believe Monday, Beric is starting Suzerain, which is, a, in, I guess it's in a similar vein. It's manage your own country situation. So I'll be definitely be watching, before my stream on Monday, I'll be definitely be on Beric's channel uh, watching Beric's stream because I'm very interested in Suzerain. And seeing Beric basically do a similar thing to what I'm doing at the moment, see how we, how well we work together and how similar our ideas are. Um, but yeah, um, I'll catch you all on Monday. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely Sunday. Take care of yourselves. I'll find someone to raid. Well, I'm not sure if anyone's up right now. <laughs>